Let's see. All right, everything seems to be working all right. I know I've been teasing it for God knows how long, but today we're finally playing uh, Breath of the Wild. It's 60 frames. It's got all the DLC. I have not played this game since it initially came out in 2017 um, on the Switch. It was, in my memory, I... <laughs> It, I remember I got my Switch, and it came with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, because the only way I can get a Switch at the time was buying a bundle. So I had to buy the Mario Kart 8 bundle, which wasn't a big deal, because I was going to buy it anyway. Um, so I got the Mario Kart 8 bundle for my Switch, and immediately what I did was go to the eShop and download Breath of the Wild. I then proceeded to play the entirety of Breath of the Wild, at least before the DLC came out. And I loved it. It, it. it was phenomenal. It was it was very reminiscent of me getting like a GameCube secondhand, like well after it came out and playing through Wind Waker. I don't know why, just that Switch just had that energy to it. Um, that being said, I by default am not really a completionist by any standard. Um, at least most of the time I'm not. We did happen to just finish up Mario Odyssey in more or less 100%. We got all the moons. We didn't get all the um, the purple coins, but screw the purple coins. Who wants those anyway? Um, so anyways, I thought I'd jump back to um, the same mentality, go replay a game that I played five years ago that I really enjoyed, but probably had left more to do. Um, and so, give it a second here. Hey, Tom, what's going on? <laughs> We're playing Breath of the Wild today. But, it's going to look phenomenal. Um, so, we're, I was able to make it happen with get, get the good resolution, the good frame rate. If you haven't seen it yet, God, Link just looks so good. It'll take a little bit to get into it, but eventually you'll see him move around and you'll be like, gosh, how do I go back to playing this on my Switch? It, it really does look good. So, I'm really excited to, to crack this bad boy open and see what we can do. Um, at the bare minimum, we're getting through the plateau. I don't think I should have any issues with that. Um, yeah. Um, obviously, if you're not familiar with the game, you start off as waking up in the, I guess it's like the sleeping temple, or I can't remember what this place is called. It's not the Temple of Time. It's a phenomenal game. I absolutely adore this game. So I'm going back with the same mentality I applied to Mario Odyssey, where a game I really liked, but didn't really like complete everything. This time we're going to do a bunch more side quests. I'm really looking forward to just diving headfirst into everything in this game. Because it is very, very good. It will take me a little bit to get back into the, um, the kind of flow of the game. But I'm sure once we get started, there'll be no stopping us. I'm also very, I'm excited to see what the DLC brings. I mean, the things that I remember, uh, I happen to have it now, but I remember bringing the Meta Cycle or whatever they call it in this game, the Hyrule Motorcycle. Um, I don't know when you get that. Eventually we will get it. And there's also like Trial of the Sword, which is for your Master Sword later on. We're obviously a very far, <laughs> we are very far out from queuing any of those, but we'll get there. All right, Link, looking good. Still ripped as hell after sleeping for a thousand years. Just, just impeccable technology here. You're popping in from Toaster Stream? Oh, shoot. What's Toaster doing? What, what's a Toaster doing? I think I saw him streaming, but I, didn't, I just got back from work. I didn't have time. Oh, dear God. Look at him go. Look at that. Look at that smooth frames. Oh, so good. Did he ever get his... um? Shell Shockers? I have no idea what Shell Shockers is. Sounds fun, though. He makes most things fun. Ah. Alright. Thank you, voice in my head. Alright. The only thing I'm a little upset with is I'm playing this on, like, an Xbox controller, which is a little confusing because the A and B buttons and the X and Y buttons are switched from the Switch layout. But it's a small price I'll pay, you know, to, to run it. It's beauty. All right, so we've got our Sheikah Slate. 
Um, let's go to options. Camera sensitivity, very fast. Good, good, good. I think that's literally all I want. We'll obviously open our chests up. Are these my cool clothes? Yeah. All right. We got pants. Good. And is that a shirt? Heck yeah. Put the shirt on. Yeah, now Link isn't naked. Let's go. Not naked, Link. Oh my god, dude. I'm so excited to play this game. If I can just shut up Zelda for a second. <laughs> I know I know what the Sheikah Slate does. This isn't my first rodeo. Oh, of course, it's got to do the authentication. It's got to reach out to the backend server and verify my login and password. It looks like that was successful. We're in through the door. Our first obstacle is a slight hill that we have to climb up, but I have no doubt we'll be able to get through that. God, imagine how much that would hurt your eyes. You've been sitting in a dark room for a thousand years. You have not even been in a room with the sun. And you open a door, and the sun is not only shining through, it is lined up to where you were staring straight at this <laughs> this big orb in the sky. Oh, and it finally moves, and we can we can breathe for a second. Whoop, whoop. All right, our first obstacle has been conquered, and we get the opening cutscene. Let's go. I know you can't see it. It'll come back. There we go. I wanted to turn it up a little bit. Oh. Just gorgeous. Unfor- <laughs> I was getting a little wacky with the uh, the mods. Since now it's on my computer, I really can mod the crap out of it pretty easily. And like, I was getting a little too overzealous with the graphical modifications you can make to the game. And I kept crashing it. So, unfortunately, we're not running at 4K Ultra HD, but we... <laughs> the 60 frames is plenty for me. Alright, we can now use a tree branch. Let's go. Alright, um, I think there's some Hylian shrooms around here. I'd probably grab those. Nice. And... Probably take a second weapon. That will be good to have. I also wouldn't mind learning the um, some of the speedier strats. I would love to learn how to do damage cancels, but I'm a little lazy. Um, I do know that the, what is it called, wind bombing, where you can basically boom around, is basically impossible in this game because of the frame rate being higher. But we'll be okay. Obviously push the boulder down and try to crush the old man. He'll never see it coming. Oh, it's going for him. Oh, it's going for him. Ah. Uh, okay, that's okay. Well, let's talk to him. Oh-ho! Well met, stranger. Who are you? Me? I'll spare you my life story. You know, maybe you could go into a little more detail. I'm just an old man. Definitely not a ghost. Definitely just an old man. What are you what you doing here? Bye or where are we? God, I haven't spoken a word in a thousand years. I feel like even that would be difficult. If you slept for a thousand years, just like making words out of your mouth would be difficult. Anyways, we're on the Great Plateau, in case you didn't know. The opening segment of the game. I don't know if you have to like talk to him to like start this. But anyways, there's the the classic temple of time. Had this game for a long time. Haven't you haven't even gotten halfway done? I feel like that's probably the smart way to play it. I was talking to um, my boss at work, who uh, who he has kids, so his switch is he's like in his in his thirties, but he, essentially he's playing Breath of the Wild for his kids, and he's been playing this game for like two years. Wait, can I not push this anymore? And he hasn't even gotten halfway through it either. I don't know if it's just because. You know, you want to go find everything. Or if you're just like, hey, I just like going around the world. The way I normally play games is pretty straight to the point. 
Um, that's how I played this game when it first came out, where I was like, oh, okay, we'll get the four Divine Beasts. We will do the, you know, and Ganon fight. And that's how I played it. This time I'm going to be a little bit more... We'll look around a little bit more. We are definitely not getting every Korok Seed. Uh, my friend did go through and get every single Korok Seed. But she did it without... <laughs> she didn't use a guide at all. So what she did was she literally combed the entire... Oh, do I have the map yet? She literally just divided... She Each one of the grid sections, she just looked in the entirety of the grid and combed every inch of the entire map until she found every Korok seed. And I cannot imagine doing that. That sounds so painful. Because those Korok seeds, there's like 890 of them. There's some insane amount. You like to wander around the village and complete quests. There's a lot of quests. I didn't even realize um, all the side quests in this game. I didn't realize it until... Um, I was watching some streamer do... It was the 100% speed run of this game, where you have to complete every single side quest, and you have to complete every Korok seed and get every single shrine, and defeat Ganon and everything. And I was like, holy heck, there's a lot in this game. Hi, Nico, how you doing? We're playing Breath of the Wild, but now Link is smoother than ever before. It looks good. All right, so I don't remember where the kind of the next thing we have to do is. But I'm going to start at the Temple of Time. Call me crazy, but I think that's a probably pretty good starting location for our journey here. Oh, I don't want to take a picture of him. That's on me. I do want to smack him up with my tree branch. Oh. Well. I'll get a Bokoblin Club here in a second. Are you playing for the first time? I am not. I played this game for the first time five years ago. So I am a little bit, I don't know exactly what to do, but I got the overall premise. You doing the building a new village quest? Ooh. God, what is that city called? It's called, you're building like a city, right? Um, God, I can't remember what that quest line is called. Oh, we got a bow now. Let's go. No arrows yet. We don't need arrows where we're going. We just need tree branches. God, these tree branches can hit, like, one thing, and then they explode. See, so yeah, I might need a little bit of, a uh, little backseating along the way. It's one of the sons. Oh, the city is named after them? Oh, wait, wait. What does she want from me? She smiles upon me, but doesn't give me anything. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I think we have to activate the big tower, right? I think that's the idea. We gotta go and activate... The map. We gotta get the, the tower and do the map. It'll be great. Okay, and then we gotta get all the runes. Yeah, yeah, I'm remembering. I'm figuring it out. Gears are turning in my head. Um, did I get that Bokoblin Club? Yeah, might as well use that. Okay. If I was looking for a tower... Hmm. Eh, we'll just run around. I'm just having a fun time exploring. Okay, I know my stamina bar will run out. All right. We also don't have a shield yet. Ooh. And I'll take a second Bokoblin Club. And another chest. Oh. For some reason I thought I was wearing the Hylian trousers. Oh, it's R. Well, I guess we better put the better pants on. So I guess we'll be looking for all the Hylian stuff. Okay, maybe I'll just throw the barrels. Oh, it's the R button. There we go. Oh, it doesn't break them? Eh, it's okay. There's probably nothing in them. Ah, eh, there probably is. Nope. No, no, no. We're not wasting our Bokoblin Clubs on barrels. We're better than that. All right. Let's see. Where are we going next? Horns. We can sell that for money. And I'm pretty sure those just stack, like, way high. So we don't need to worry about inventory space for those. So let's see. There's more boulders. Boulders are good. We love rocks. Honestly, I saw this thing, and I was such in a Mario Odyssey mindset. I was like, oh, I'll throw Cappy on this big spike right here, and that's probably a moon. <laughs> it's clearly not d different game. I'm not doing that. Oh, look at these well-positioned boulders. No, 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 don't climb it. Push, push, push the boulder, Link. 
Hit him. Oh, we got one. We got one. Well, he's coming up for me. But can he stop the boulder? All right, angle it. Get a good angle on it. Watch this. We read the line. Oh my god, I'm so good. I can push boulders with the best of them. Okay. I can apparently throw weapons. I did forget about that, I'll be honest. Okie dokie. So, I guess we'll open the map. Oh, it's a group of workers who had all their names end in sun. Ah, so they had like Jameson and Williamson and all those things. Oh, that's where I'm going. And so they were like, let's build a new village on a big island. <laughs> Was it just for people with the last name Sun? Okay, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Oh, they saw me. I don't have any arrows. Okay. That's okay. We're fast. We're fast. Oh, wait, wait. I can pick up their arrows. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. You guys just keep doing that. Just keep on doing it. Wait, wait. Is it only for people with the last name Sun? That's actually crazy. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that'd be a little bit... <laughs> Uh, unfair to the rest of the people to be like, no, no, no. See, your name ends in, your, your last name is Smith. Oh, can I pick him up anymore? Yeah, I can. You're not allowed on our fun little island. Oh, nothing better. Oh, then a little critical hit with an arrow. Feels good. Oh, and they drop bundles of arrows. Okay. Okabung bow, that's fine. We'll get more bows. We'll just carry them until we can't carry them no more. Well, this guy drops a shield. That's convenient. I guess... Okay, so the workers are all... Oh, a sword. Are the workers all last, last name Sun? But, like, who... Eventually, the people got to go to the island and live there. And I assume that's just open to anyone. I don't know. But is that where you have to, like, go around and get building supplies and, like, give it to them and, like, go over there and you build, like, each location over time? Oh, Link's got so much stuff on him. Man's carrying more than I've carried in my entire life. He's got like 60 pounds of material on him. Not including his pockets, which are full of both cobbling things. <laughs> Alright. We got the tower. Finally, our map is unlocked. Do 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 God. <laughs> Do you imagine you just waved an iPad over like a small pedestal and then a massive tower just erects oh, I'm sorry, multiple towers just erect out of everywhere. And you're like, yeah, it's it's just a ancient civilization thing. Okay, so we did play through what was it? Skyward Sword. And I think that one is I the timeline of Zelda is such an insane idea. Um, so I remember that our, one of our friends in Skyward Sword, she's part of the Sheikah kind of clan. And this is the Sheikah Slate. So I assume the Sheikah clan is just super built for, um, technology. I think they made all these Sheikah towers because they're all activated with Sheikah Slates. Oh, no, no, no. That's, um... God, I'm just... <laughs> I don't know how all these Zelda universes interact. I believe the, like, the chieftain of Kakariko Village is just, like, um, the person we helped in the previous games. But, God, all the time travel and different forms of Link just so confusing. But, anyways, we got, we got a map. I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, we, we're, we're kind of brain dead. We're trying to remember that Zelda is trapped and been fighting Ganon for a thousand years. <laughs> I guess. The beast. Big pig man. Oh. Ganon Blight Ganon. Now this is a cool Ganon. It's a lot cooler than just the um just big person Ganon. Like the Ganon from Wind Waker just isn't all that threatening. It's just a big dude. This one on the other hand, it's like a spiritual beast that you have to defeat. It's like that's scary. That's terrifying. I don't want to mess with that guy. 
All right, so Zelda's Zelda's trap. We got to save her. All right, I don't know who Zelda is. We'll slowly remember. All right, to get down here, I think I just yeet, right? Yeet. Oh, that's too far of a yeet. Does this work? Nope, that kills me. Okay. Bad yeet. I yeeted poorly. Luckily, this game auto saves the crap out of everything. So we'll just spawn right at the top of the tower. We'll have another chance to get down without killing ourselves. That's going to be great. Okay. So we go this way, and then we don't fall off the edge. Perfect. Nice. We're just a little bit better at movement. I don't have Cappy here. So got to be a little bit more careful. Alright. Oh! It's my old man. Look at that sick paraglider. I wonder if we can get one of those. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. Yeah, 18 towers just spawned across the entire world. Quite the enigma, I would say. The towers, others just like it, have erupted across the land, one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you did not... <laughs> did you do anything at the top of the tower? Yeah. I'm obviously going to tell this old man my whole life story. I don't know any better. I'm a young boy. Did I recognize it? No, I did not, apparently. We'll learn in that name of the voice later, I guess. I did meant to, I did see the ta the castle. It is very scary. Bunch of purple everywhere. That's Calamity Ganon, obviously. Oh, we're only a hundred years ago. I thought we were asleep for a thousand. Okay, we're asleep for a hundred years. A much more reasonable time to go into cryogenic freeze. Um, so that's Calamity Ganon. Basically messed up the entire world. It appeared and destroyed everything in its path. He killed a bunch of people, yada, yada, yada. Everyone's scared of him. We're just barely on the, the, the brink of death. And yeah, he's just chilling in the tower. Do you intend your ma- Why would I? No. Why would I go to that place? Oh my god, apparently I am going to the castle. I don't know why. If I just woke up with no memory of what's going on, there'd be no shot in hell of going to that scary-looking temple. Or castle. Alright, I'm not gonna jump. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> well, give me a paraglider. There's no such thing as a free lunch. That's a good lesson, old man. I appreciate you teaching me that. Alright, I'm gonna trade it for treasure. What specifically do I trade for it? I don't have that button. <laughs> I guess I do. Old man. Just treasure. Okay. Cool. I guess we'll go after the treasure. Alright, there's a shrine right here. How do I shield? Okay, that. I'm trying to remember how to shield surf. Hmm. I honestly can't remember. I'll have to look that up later. Um, nope. Shield. God, the D-pad movement and getting your equipment is kind of weird. I gotta remember how to do that. I think we just walk around. I guess we could swim. Pick up some fishies. Yeah, we'll need fish later for... The warm doublet. Any fish in here? Oh, God. Don't drown. That'd be bad. Um, I don't see any fish in here, so I'm not going to worry about fishing yet. Oh, there is a fish! Okay, we'll get the fishy. Where are you, you big fishy? Oh, I see you. You sweet, sweet Hyrule bass. You will be mine. Yeah? This guy right here? Got it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you could say I'm a bit of a fisherman. <laughs> Just jump into big pools of water and just snag a fish right out of the, the ground. Alright, so based on the fact there's a metal rock here, I think this is Magnesis, if I had to guess. Yeah, and we'll get all the treasure chests that are around here. Okay. Magnesis is it? Oh! DLC chest? A ruby. Okay, that's, that's a good amount of coins. A ruby we can trade for rupees. Alright, we don't need to go through the login cutscenes anymore. I think we got it. 
problem is it's giving <laughs> it's telling me like press x and press a but they're switched on the controller I, I have to try everything twice all right so our first shrine let's start by going and grabbing the rune so we can actually use it do 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 what if this is how data transfer worked in the future? Like, instead of sending it via email, you just squirt some blue gel on it instead. Like, that's how you send text messages. Like, every... <laughs> you just go into your faucet, you're like, Alright, let's see what I got today. Oh, it's Magnesis. Alright, so now that we have Magnesis, we can do a few things. We can learn how to use them. Ooh. Okay, so... The way that the frame thing kind of works is it loads, it doesn't know what animations there are until you do them. So some of them don't always play the first time. Like I think if we like launch a bomb the first time, you won't see the explosion, but the second one you will. All right, uh, let's see, what are you here for? I don't know, but we'll keep you here for safekeeping. Ah! Okay. What if I just push him in the water? Well, he'll... Block it. Block it. And... Yeah. That worked pretty well. <laughs> I love this game so much. Like, you don't have to... Sh like, most games, you're like, Alright, I'm gonna have to do it this way. In this one, it's like... Anything you want. If you want to break him with a Magnesis... Oh, God. This is gonna be a problem. If you want to use Magnesis block to break... The Guardian, so be it. We're going to keep this Magnesis block around. It seems to be very helpful. Ah, yes. Okay. Oh! How do I get... Okay. Give me a second here. So let's get this guy. And drop it. Not quite, but I think it might work still. Nope. Nope. Actually, I think it still works. <laughs> I wasn't replacing that. Okay, now what if we did... I'm just going to put it up here. Okay, that's obviously not what I wanted. Let's just put it up there for safekeeping. Because I want to get that chest there. Is it a push? Is it a pull? It's a pull door, of course. They didn't label it, so I didn't quite know. Oh, interesting. I wonder if I can just use this to get up. I mean, probably. Okay, I can't, like, rotate it. Oof. I feel like this thing is going to kill me if I drop it. Okay, new idea. Okay. Trying to remember how to shield surf, because we can just get across this. If I do that, can I get that? No, okay. That's okay. I think actually we might be so <laughs> what? No, 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 no. I'm not we're never this game does not allow for that. Alright, so let me grab this block up here. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna move these to the end and get up the back way. I think is my my plan so this we can probably just build oh link you can't drop that on your head you're better than that probably all right so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna do it again and i'm thinking we can just yeet across okay we definitely can and those are there so we can pick them up and move them it's all am i am i overthinking it yeah probably are we doing it anyway? Yeah. Because I see a chest that I want. And Link, if Link sees a chest he wants, he gets the chest he wants. Alright. So now we're across. We go pick this guy up. I love moving cubes around. I freaking love it. Alright. So now they're both over here. And what I'm hoping is, this would give us enough height to get up to there. Alright. That's the game plan. 
Oh, also our big plank spawned over there. Okay, so you never... No, don't... It's okay. <laughs> we don't need the doors to be open anyway. All right, so I think if I position this like that, we should be able to... Get up? Yes. Maybe not. Am I stupid? Okay. And then we can probably make this jump. Yes. Okay. Again, this feels like it's not the correct answer to the puzzle. But... Is that enough height? No, we need a second block. Luckily, we have... This better... I swear to God, if this is like some arrows... <laughs> gonna be really unfortunate all right we're gonna do like that oh my god my brain is so big oh no how am i gonna get across that how am i gonna get across that wait what am i supposed to do um like even if i had that big thing I have no- wait. <laughs> I can just grab the chest. I'm such a doofus. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, I thought I was doing such a big brain strat. I thought I needed to do all this manipulation of- <laughs> All I needed to do was use magnesis on the chest, you dumb dumb. <laughs> All right, all right. That's a, that's a practice practice stride. Did we spend ten minutes through the one of the easiest strides? Yes. Did we get it at the end? Yes. So stupid. All right. We got magnesis and a spirit orb. Let's go. So stupid. Oh my god. All right. So what's up next? Uh, we have to go to the snowy area, but we need to get a doublet for that. I think technically you can get by with just spamming hot peppers, but I want the doublet anyway. I want to look good for the uh, for the journey. Oh, look, my old man is impressed with my abilities. I collect a spirit orb. How did you know that? Clairvoyance. <laughs> I'm all-powerful and all-knowing. Don't you know? Old men are always like this. Finding altars made you quit this game? Do you mean shrines? Like the fact that you had to go hunt down a... F There's a billion shrines. You don't even have to go to any of them. You can just go to Ganon. That's the crazy part. If you don't want to look for shrines, you can just be done. You can't see them. You're like the blue kind of rocky thing. You're just like, nope, that doesn't exist in my mind. These seem to stand out pretty well. They got this blue backdrop. They really do pop. There's even a, um, you even get a thing later on that, like, beeps when you're near a shrine. Uh, actually, though, I'm not gonna give you a start of the game. Oh, you're in it. Okay. Well, if you watch me, I promise that by the end of this stream, we'll at least get all the, uh, the shrines in the Great Plateau. So we will get all four of them. Do I know where all of them are right now? Not not really. But will I find them all? I I will. There's no way. <laughs> I'll see okay. You can see one in the distance. That seems fair. Well, I don't know. We could get this done in 20 minutes. You can see one right back there. So there's one on like uh you can't see where I'm pointing, obviously. But if you look right behind the Temple of Time, you can see one on a rock. I'm not reading any of these. What do you want? Take a look at the map. Ah. Blue icons are shrines. Okay, bye, old man. Oh, God, you want to talk some more? All right. Oh, he's done talking. Okay. So. I'm going to drop these. And arrows. All right. We're going to pick up these. Whoop. That looks like a good chest. Amber. We can sell that. Yeah, I think there's four shrines in the Great Plateau. There's bombs, magnesis, stasis. 
And another one. <laughs> Bombs, magnesis, stasis, freeze, and cryonis. Ooh, apples. Baked apples. Oh god. Yeah, we're if you guys are looking for a cooking stream, this is not it. I ain't got it. Okay, this this poisoned you. God, if I could just learn how to shield surf. Let me let me try that out. Okay, so that's shield. It's a backflip. The cooking stream is later. Well, I meant okay, the cooking stream in Breath of the Wild, because you can bake a ton of food. No. Sorry, I'm trying, so if I can get this shield jump right, I can basically jump to these chests over there. And it's really cool looking, so I want to... So it's not just shield and jump. It's more complex than that. Huh. One second. Give me... I, I need to look this up. What is shield surfing? How does shield surf in this game? That'll be handy later. I mean, yeah, it's, um... It is a speedrun strap, but more importantly, it just looks cool and I want to do it. Okay, shield surfing is shield equipped and you prefer to do it. doesn't matter. While running, press the jump button, then mid-air, tap the shield parry button to do a flip while putting your shield... What? Running... Jump, oh, running, jump, sh running, jump, sh okay, one second. Okay, shield is equipped, we run, run, jump, sh run, jump, jump, shield, run, jump, shield, I don't know. Anyways, we're gonna beat up these skeletons. Oh, you got a big old thing, don't you? Okay. No. No, it's mine now. Don't get your head back. All right, there we go. And we'll take an arm just for fun. Okay. Damn, that arm does more damage than my freaking axe. Oh, anyways. Run. Sh jump. Hmm. You got a big old thing, don't you? I... I guess. Did I say that? <laughs> oh, God. Okay, what am I doing? Um, looks like we can go to the shrine that's near the Temple of Time, probably. That'll probably work. Avoid the jellies. I mean, we can also... Let's go fight some Boca. Okay. Okay, so there's explosions down, explosives down there. Here's the game plan. We're going to push Boulder down, we're going to explode things, and it's going to do a cool effect. Alright. Big Boulder. I missed. I don't think I can even blow those up with a... Oh, you didn't miss anything. Can I blow those up? I cannot. Okay. Well, now I know. I think I need fire arrows to blow those up. But I think I have enough weapons to basically take them out on my own. Whoa, thanks for the follow, Nico. I appreciate it. Oh my god, he... Woo! Alright, they don't have weapons, so what they're doing is picking up anything that's around them to try to kill me with. Oh, you found a weapon, and you lit it on fire. That's impressive. I'll be taking that food. Thank you very much. Nope. Oh, you got a weapon. Oh, now it's gone. <laughs> oh, I can't carry anymore? Eh, we'll be fine. Alright, do you guys have a chest? Nope. Okay. This area definitely has a chest, though. For sure. Okay. So, off rip. We do have enough arrows. Gonna take you out. I missed. Nope. Do not call for help. Good, 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 good. Now... The cool thing, if I can do this right, if I can somehow... Okay, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to climb up... Okay. No. Climb up here. Okay, they're, they're worried. Okay. That big guy in there... Wait, wait. Can I shoot this? I sure can. 
I sure can shoot that. They're still alive, um, which is not great. This blue guy is what I'm most concerned with because he's got a bunch more health than the other bow goblins. But we should have enough arrows just to take out. Okay. That should be enough. Oh! All right. And they did. Let's go. And we get our chest. <laughs> Bro, everything you think... I love this game because everything you wonder... It's like, I wonder if I can do that. Almost always, the answer is yes. If you can, if you can believe it, you can do it. Oh, we have fire arrows now. So we can actually launch... No. Stop it. How do they do that? No. What's arrow types? Arrows. Okay. Nope. Alright. Good. Just remembering how to play the game. Very important. Oh, a key swing. God, I hate these. How did it drop so many? Oh, we blew up one with the explosion. Okay. Alright, well, that was a fun little detour. Just a man in a dream. You know it. You gotta, you gotta dream big. Otherwise, what's the point? It's always something real interesting. I keep seeing it at work. I ask someone, like, oh, what? what's the ideal state of this? And they'll be, like, something really basic. And it's like, no, 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 no. Like, if you could do anything, what would you do? They just don't get it? Okay. Oh, a chest. We can do that. You have a big problem with my account? Oh, what's wrong with my account? Dang. I thought it was pretty cool. I put some effort into this. More amber? Amber's good. I don't know where to donate? Hmm. Like, I don't think I have... Hmm. I think it would just be through bits. I don't have a donation thing. But you also don't need to donate. It's completely irrelevant. I wouldn't donate to me. <laughs> I'm literally just doing what I would do regardless. Okay. What are they going to do in the water? Yeah, nothing. Ain't nothing. Okay. I believe... Yeah, I guess you could... <laughs> you could donate a... You can gift sub to Whoopi. Alright. Okay. I don't know if this is the intended place to get, way to get in here, but this should be the bomb shrine. Okay. No. Oh. No. Ooh, another shield would be good, though. That'd be good to have. Um, and, you know, we'll kill this guy for fun. Alright, let's go. This one's the bomb shrine. I promise it will not take nearly as long as... I don't... Look, you don't need to donate. It's not... I'm not gonna worry about setting it up. You don't need to... This is literally just because I want to play Zelda. And I honestly have more fun when I have to speak everything I'm doing. Nah, he doesn't know what he wants. You don't... <laughs> you know, you don't need... It's not relevant. <laughs> you just hold on to it. Invest in something. You know, it's it's a long-term play. Invest whatever you were going to donate into a nice Roth IRA. Five years down the line, collect what comes out of it. And then donate. You know? Long-term play. <laughs> For real? All right, all right. Now we got both the square bombs and the rolly bombs. Retiring age 20, 28. That's that's the dream. <laughs> God, <laughs> that would be so lovely, dude. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know why this came up during a meeting I had, where well, I can't remember how to do this. Okay, um, someone decided they need to explain. Oh, how do you detonate? Oh, it has a button. Walter White style. Walter White was way older than 28. There's no way the character Walter 8 was... I mean, I, oh, you mean just sell meth to uh, so you can retire. Got it. But uh, this guy at this meeting just casually dropped. He's like, by the way, I'm financially independent, just so you know. Which is such an insane phrase to throw out there. Apparent... Oh, I need to drop something. Um, let's see here. Do we need two Bokal? We probably don't need the woodcutter. Actually, we might just chop down trees. We'll throw one of these things. Yeet. Okay. Um, so the term financially independent would just be like 
hey, by the way, I don't have to work anymore. Um, it's not saying that you make a good amount of money as a salary. It means that if you wanted to at any point, you could stop working entirely and do whatever the hell you want. So basically it's all, it's a weird way. It's like a business way to flex and say, Hey, I don't have to be here if I don't want to, which is just such an insane thing to say. Um, let's see here. We're gonna... Um, I don't want to be that close. That'll work. Okay. Cool. Oh, God. Link is not nearly as maneuverable as, as Mario. But I just thought it was the rid most ridiculous thing I had ever heard. It was, I'd never heard anyone flex like that before. Most people just say, like, oh, like, I could retire. I am danger. Alright. And... Whoop. I guess we need to do another one of those to break the remaining areas. Ooh, a chest is over there. We'll get that. Also, I wonder... So there's a ladder to walk around, but I also think it'd be more fun. We have enough health to do it. We can probably just get launched by that thing. Oh, a ball. What's the ball for? Is that ball just to... Just to okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm just literally going to go whoop. And not die. Wow. That's really easy. I really thought that would be that would hurt me a lot more. More amber. A man opens his door and gets shot. That's what you think of me? I'm the one who knocks. <laughs> it's the most edgelord thing I heard all day. <laughs> it has the same energy as that, um... There was a good little clip I saw of... It was a Reddit post saying... What's the best comeback to say to, like, a bully? And it was like... <laughs> If I wanted to kill myself, I would climb all the way up my up your ego to the height of your ego and then jump. Something insane like that. And they reenacted in like a real world situation where you would say that to a bully. And they're like, what? What did you just say? Did you like write that ahead of time? Why would you? What? Dude, I'm just going to beat you up harder. See, the same idea. Yeah. the uh, If you don't have the right like kind of build and energy when you say like, phrases like that things that sound cool in like movies and tv just genuinely don't work in real life i feel like because they just give off this weird like you scripted it ahead of time which in movies and tv you obviously did but like in real life it's like did you, why did you why are you saying that <laughs> it's like you should be scared <laughs> don't be scared of the man who comes to the door and breaks in and shoots you be afraid of the man who knocks I'm afraid of both people. Anyone with a gun, I'm afraid of. Alright, so I see... Oh, okay, we've awoken a guardian. It's okay, it can't move, it can't chase us, so we should be able to get out of here, no problem. Alright. We're fine, we're fine. Um, I guess this would be a good time to learn how to parry. <laughs> Hey, thanks for the bid. Since no pizza and chance is all I got. Oh, you don't have the emotes. If I make enough emotes, I can make... After a while, I can make follower emotes so that people can just spam chance and pizza. If you're curious, those are those are my puppers. Well, they're my parents' dogs. But it's close enough. I'm going to go see them on Friday. I'm very excited. I've been missing the, the good doggos. All right, so, ooh, is that a frog? I'm gonna get a frog. Can we get, can we get this? Sure. I'm just gonna hold on to this frog forever and always. All right. Um, look at these two bokoblins just kind of chilling. Now he's almost dead. Oh no. Get claymored. Whoop. Probably shouldn't be using my strongest weapon. Bokoblin club's probably fine for. 90 of what we do 90 percent of what we do so we'll just hold on to that all right bees hell no we're not touching the bees they need to bring their own like i'm trying to reinvigorate the bee population in hyrule we're not we're not messing with their stuff okay we are a long way out from the master sword there is a lot we need to do to get the master sword um do these give stamina i think you need like eight hearts or something 
10 hearts, something like that, to even pull the Master Sword out of its location. Use game. I mean, yeah, if I could turn it on right now, we're not, <laughs> I'm not going to start the game with the Master Sword. It's, we're not like we're playing on, like, I can beat the game with the weapons. Everyone wants to see the Master Sword. You don't, you don't need it. Except at the end. The end is very nice to have the Master Sword. And it's nice because it doesn't break. Okay. Um, let's see here. I will need to get some of this stuff. A book. He likes to cook. Spicy meat and seafood. Okay. So I'm going to make sure I grab all these peppers. Shield. Dude, I'm not, I'm not doing a challenge run of this game. Absolutely not. I am not good in... I haven't played this game in five years. I'm not whipping out a shields only run off rip. That'd be insane. Ooh, potlet, though. Alright, so if we need to make these spicy meat and seafood, I believe that's peppers, the Hyrule bass. Can I recook the meat I have? Or do I have to cook... Uh... Hmm. Is there any other birds I... Like... Can it be any meat? Pantheon. Okay. Yeah, okay. Once we get to Pantheon 5, I'll, I'll do that no healing. It'll be fun. All right, old man. Watch this. Let me show you how to ch chop down a tree. Get out of here. No. No. Okay, fine. What are you doing? I'm just cutting down some trees. All right, cool. Watch this. This is how you ch cut down trees. Oh, no. I'm well aware the Hollow Knight Pantheon 5 stuff is insane. Okay, now we have to be very careful. Obviously, we're going to sprint across. Um, to get up there, I think you can do it just being really careful with your stamina. I don't think I need stamina food. Okay, is he yeeted? He is yeeted. Whoop. 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 And he's also yeeted. Bye, guys. Okay. Um, I'm going to grab... I don't know. I guess these apples. It's nice to have for later. Alright, so to climb up... Oh, jeez. Alright, everyone get ready. Everyone prepare, because it's about to be a long climb to the top. Because it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Whoa, 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 whoa. But obviously, we're not rocking and rolling. Instead, we are just climbing a near vertical tower because Link is also Spider-Man in his free time and can just cling to walls. By far the best rock climber this world has ever seen. All right. No, that's too much. I'm gonna, I am not falling down this. I'm going to be very careful. I remember this because I kept, in my first play through this game, I kept trying to do long jump skips and get around this faster. And I think it took me way too long to do it because I was just so impatient. Alright, so... Yeah, we basically just have to climb to the top of this. Uh, the other way to do it is to get stamina food. You can cook some of these mushrooms, I believe, and they'll give you stamina refills. Which is probably the faster way to do this, I would have to guess. But, I mean, we'll get it done. I know for a fact this works. Um, okay, let's see here. I think we got to go to there, which isn't a problem because Link can also climb, like, <laughs> concave surfaces. God, he's an insane climber. What a... Oh, just a beautiful mechanic. And you see it used, like, everywhere now. I think we just get to the top now. Yep, 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 yep. Only 95k more to go. Hell yeah. Oh, there's a chest in here, baby. Um, oh, this is... Okay. I have to use... This has got to be um, stasis then. Because I got to use stasis to launch that rock out of there. Till the... What is the PVZ stream? I have no idea what that stands for. Player versus Zelda. That's probably it, right? It's like PVE, but instead of enemies, it's just Zelda. Plants vs. Zombies. <laughs> I've never played Plants vs. Zombies. I've honestly seen it. And at no point was I like, God, I can't wait to get in there and just, like, drop plants to fight zombies, I guess, is the mechanic. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. All of them? I can do one of them. I, I, Raph Wars is a classic. That was back in the day. Like, that was before I had, like... I had a Game Boy, but, like, at school... Anytime they let you use a computer... I didn't have one at home. All we would do is go on, like, Flash game websites. Raph Wars one of my favorites. I played the crap out of that. I love Raph Wars. That, and um, there's a Flash game called The Impossible Quiz. I absolutely have no idea why I played the crap out of the game but like i think even now i could probably do a lot of the questions in that all the answers are almost completely random there's no like way to discern what the answers are ah that's okay that's okay we're surviving that all right um just don't get hit nice so obviously we will be going up to the top of this does another rock spawn if that one's there Can I just do this? No. Okay. So there's a chest up there, right? Alright. So wait for the rock to go. And then we'll time it perfectly. And I don't know why that didn't work. Interesting. Okay. The fact... Okay. Maybe we'll get behind it. There it is. Okay. Now we go. 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 Decision, decision. I mean, you got some time. A traveler's shield. It's a slightly better shield. All right. It's nice how they don't spawn more rocks when you freeze one. Hey, Tom. Welcome back. We're doing more. Um, I probably need to yeet something, don't I? Um, screw the sheet. And yeet. Ooh, that was fun. Okay. Sledgehammer is really nice because we should be able to... I mean, you'll see. <laughs> we can really yeet the crap out of this thing. All right. That should be good. <laughs> Yep, that should clear the path. <laughs> did we go a little overboard? Yeah. Did we just need to move it about a quarter of an inch to the right and have it fall off? Yeah, but did we eat it across the entire map? We sure did. So anyways, that's the three kind of uh, easier shrines. Well, I guess they're all pretty easy. Um, but the... To get Cryonis a little bit more cumbersome. Because we have to go get a warm doublet so we don't freeze to death or whatever golf and zelda i that is okay they have that in a lot of um a lot of zones you basically have a big ball like that that you have to get into a cup um <laughs> they're in shrines they're across the world you get korok seeds that way we will be playing essentially golf and zelda thank god i have this sledgehammer beep, 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 beep. boom that should probably get it out of there yeah, I think that did the trick. Wow. It's just... Go <laughs> we hit that thing so hard it disappeared from existence. <laughs> nice. Frick. I can't yeet bows. Which is unfortunate. Um, but I can... Let's see here. What's my crappiest bow? Select, drop. Alright. Open it. How long is the hat trick? Um, I'll just do it for the rest of the stream. I don't really care. If you redeem it, I will say, if you redeem that hat trick now, I would probably put a... I mean, you can choose a hat if you want, but I recommend... I do have the Zelda cap. Um, <laughs> so that would probably be the recommended hat to put on. Okay. Matt, okay, so we need to go up to Mount Hylia, but I need to get down from here. I'm just not... I'm not, wa I'm not climbing down this. No shot. I also have a Luigi hat. I got, I mean, we could just, I got a hat that says, it has Yoshi on it. It says, cool as heck is written on there. Basically all baseball caps. I got the Pokemon hat for that, uh, that Ash wears. We got some fun ones. I don't have the sunglass collection, sunglasses collection that uh, Toaster has, but I do have a lot of hats. All right, so our next order of business is going back to essentially where we came from. I don't think this is faster. Is there trucks for life hat? I do not have a trucks for life hat, unfortunately. I do kind of want the hat. There's a there's a funny hat that someone posted on from like a thrift store haul or something that just says, <laughs> women want me, fish fear me. And I thought that, <laughs> that is such a crazy 
freaking thing to put on a hat. Oh boy. And there's a bunch of meme ones where it says like, women fear me, fish want me. And that's the hat that I want. Where it says women fear me and fish want me. <laughs> Buy it right now. Oh, we do win the hat. All right, I'll let you choose, Tom. You want the Zelda hat or you want one of the other hats? We'll use, use his own hand. Yoshi? All right, cool. We'll go do that. I'll be right back. Oh, all right. So this is the Yoshi hat. It says cool as heck. It's actually Boshi, um, which is traditionally a blue Yoshi. All right. So now we got the Yoshi hat on, which is, which is great. I do love the Yoshi hat. All right. So back to the grind, which of course, oh God. Such a speedy little arm. Okay. So we need to go over here. But at first, we need to get some meat. Actually, I don't know. We have meat? Luigi Ghostbuster costume. We'll do that for uh, Halloween. I'm going to play through. I don't, we won't do it in one sitting because that would be insane. But I do have Luigi's Mansion. We'll dress up as Luigi because I do have the fit. Um. Okay, I don't think I can cook food. I can't like recook it, so I need to find uncooked meat to make the seafood and spicy seafood and meat. Um, I wonder if I can just okay. If anyone sees a bird, I think we can use chicken as meat because it just says meat. It doesn't say like steak or beef. Also, I don't ever recall seeing a cow in this game, so I don't know how we would get beef. Beef. I did see that Arby's decided to finally sell hamburgers, and they decided to do it in a way that was just absolutely insane. So instead of just selling a crappy hamburger, they're selling a Wagyu beef hamburger, which, if you don't know, Wagyu beef is this very specific type of... Oh, don't die. Okay, we didn't die. It's a very specific type of meat that you have to, like... The cows can only eat this specific type of grass and takes a really long time to raise. And apparently it's like phenomenal. It's like the perfect level of moisture or something. I don't know. But yeah, anyways, they're, they made that into a hamburger. And that's like, that's their new hamburger they sell. So pretty big on Arby's. They, you know what? Their claim of that they have the meats, pretty accurate. They do seem to have the meats. Do you think squirrels give meat? Oh, God, it's like catching mips. Oh, he just disappeared from existence. Okay, probably not then. Your brother used to work in a luxury hotel, so he gets to eat Wagyu very often. That's pretty sick. Because I think at, like, steakhouses, they sell it for, like, 60, 70 bucks for, like, any type, any amount of it. So getting that, like, pro bono is pretty nice. It's quite the, um, the perk. That was actually the only thing I enjoyed about working kind of in like the service industry, like working at a cafe was I can just all the food at any for lunchtime. You're just like, I'm making whatever I want. I have full reign of the kitchen. All right. I could have sworn I saw a bird. That will give meat, right? Yes. Okay. I'm okay. So now let's. Let's do this, where I want to get a chili pepper. 
a bass, and a drumstick. And I'm hoping... Yeah, we'll go all in. And I'm hoping this turns into spicy seafood and meat, because technically it does seem to have all the three key ingredients. Let's go. All right. So now... Oh, there's more birds around here. Nice. All right, so this is what the old man wants, and in exchange for this, he'll give me a cool little jacket so I don't freeze to death, which is great. Oh, no. Where? <laughs> Do you need me to chop that down? I don't have an axe. The claymore will probably do it, though. It will do it. A <gasps> Deku or Korok leaf. That's actually pretty sick. I'm going to hold on to that. We can use that later. Uh, this is basically dead. Any Oops. Whoop. You All right. Korok leaf. All right, so unfortunately, I have to wait for him to go back to his, like, campfire, and then I have to talk to him about the spicy seafood and meat. Korok leaf only. So the Korok leaf is pretty cool. Um, if you combine it with ice arrows, you can do a lot of fun stuff. Because basically what you can do is freeze an enemy and then just push them off the edge of cliffs. But I do not think you can defeat Ganon with a Korok Leaf. I'm pretty sure. You definitely can't do Korok Leaf. Cactus. What's up, Toaster? Are you doing Shell Shockers? How was that? You, I actually have no idea what kind of game that is. So I just hope that you play, you did well. You had fun. I cooked something. Here you go. It's the spicy seafood and meat stir fry. Oh my god. How did you know? <laughs> Anyways, here's the recipe. If you can't if you believe it, spicy seafood and meat is meat, fish, and spices. That's that's the ingredients. Sweet. Now we can go in the cold. Is it all right, I definitely believe that there's no way in hell you can beat this game with a Korok Leaf. Because the, the end Ganon sequence, you have to use light arrows to kill him. You cannot, you can't kill big, big old Calamity Ganon with a Korok Leaf. Because Zelda gives you light arrows and you have to use them to beat him. But I think you can get there without with using Korok Leaf. A large streamer with 16,000 followers went live and kind of killed it, but we had fun in the beginning. So what is... I don't even know what Shell Shocked is. It's kind of similar to... Cro <laughs> That's actually hilarious. You're like, oh, it's similar to this game I also don't know. But, uh, okay, it's a browser FPS shooter, and you just play with people from your chat. Oh, gotcha. Like, they're on your team? So I assume that having 16,000 followers probably dominates the playing field if you only have, like, a couple hundred. That's a cool idea, though. I love all the, um, the IO games. So I'm working on... Okay, let's see here. To get to Mount Hylian... I'm gonna go around over here. All right. So eventually, I'd like to make some of those browser-based games. Because I... That's what I'm doing in, like... I'm doing taking a software development course, but I'm learn all the web in and out and that's pretty much the goal of everything is to make crappy browser games like that one i made <laughs> like the one little cube jumper but this but uh, multiplayer is definitely the more fun game to make because you make them stupid as hell just playing with other people makes it so much better all right so i think yeah we just kind of walk around over here yeah yeah Tree branch. No, we don't need that. Oh, no. Poop. Yeah, we can't climb down that. All right, we got to do a little, we gotta walk around a little bit. That's okay. Link's good at walking. The matches are 10 players per game, and I always play free-for-all. Oh, so it doesn't actually matter. The stream got killed because everyone went to watch the other guy's stream, and no one... Gotcha. That does make sense. If you're playing with everyone from your chat... If no one knows who you are, they're doing it just for, um, you know, so we, oh, oh god, 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to take your apple. Oh, okay. He's okay with it. Thank you. Whew, I thought about it just slapped by the old man. Yeah, you'll get there, though. I mean, I would watch you play. I, I should have. It does sound fun. If you ever play it again, I'm in. So how am I? I'm doing well. I've actually been really... So, I mean, I've been playing Od Mario Odyssey and um, Axiom Verge. And, like, during those streams, I've been kind of hinting at this one because I've been working... It took me a really long time to basically make the emulator work properly and get this nice 60 frame rate that looks so pretty. And... Yeah, I was really glad that I figured that out. So I've been really looking forward to this game, and I haven't played it in five years, so I'm having a great time. <laughs> Korok Leaf, no! You... Oh, the Korok Leaf does damage? I didn't know that it did damage. I would never leave Cactus for another streamer. You can! <laughs> there's, there's a lot of other streamers out there. Alright, so we're in... The marshlands. Certain charm stars. Yeah. Well, yeah, because, um, like, if you go to someone with 16,000 followers and you're in their chat with, you know, 1,000 people, your one little chat line gets buried in there. So I think there is, like, a sweet spot where you have enough people to do fun things like uh, shell shockers or do, I don't know, um, kind of those other interactive games. Shell shockers would be good. Um, Pictionary. Stuff like that, have events like that, but not too big where you lose individual chatters. Oh, hot diggity. Where am I going? Okay, cold area. That's where I'm going. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I want to have, you got to have enough people to play Disney Princess Kahoot. <laughs> we can break this with a Korok Leaf, right? No? Okay. We're gonna launch it with a Korok Leaf. I don't think it's gonna do much, if I'm being honest. Oh my gosh, I was wrong. That Korok Leaf packs a punch. <laughs> I'll take those apples. Thank you very much. And a free arrow. Hell yeah. Arrows are so overpowered in this game. If you had enough arrows, you could rule the entire world. In chemistry class, you played four Kahoot games and you won three of them? Bruh, what a Kahoot classic. <laughs> we never, when I was in like, uh, like high school and middle school, I didn't, like smartphones weren't prevalent enough to assume that everyone had one. So we, <laughs> we played similar games that we had, they were like, j like buzzers. They were basically like, it would look like your phone, but just have like a, it had, it looked like a calculator that you'd respond to. <laughs> The screen with it. It was so, it was so cumbersome. Pure skill. I mean, Kahoot is all about risk and reward. You know, sometimes you just gotta go for it, even if you don't quite know the answer. Sometimes you just gotta send it. You know. Should I be like, ah, oh, this one's gotta be C. It's gotta be C. Wow, I'm really bad at navigating to there, but we will go around here. I'll grab a Korok, Korok leaf, or not a Korok leaf. Um, Korok seed, Korok dude. I don't know. We'll see. I think everyone farts methane, fun fact, not just cows. It's a big issue for environmental um, effects because essentially cows in the wild farting, you know, every once in a while isn't a big deal. But when you have big factory farms, it becomes a huge problem because they're contributing a lot of methane into the environment. Um, so that's the big problem with that. Um, and that's part of the reason we have so much global warming. Okay. So I will need to, how do I switch? Oh, it's up. Magnesis. And we're going to push the square block in the square spot. Look at that. Smart boy. Haha, -ha! Korok Seed. That is right. Okay. Dude, this game is going to get so much better once I get the paraglider. <laughs> Whoop. Honestly, everything before the paraglider kind of sucks because it's so hard to get around. Like, you can climb up places, but to get down is such a pain. Have I seen the new Twitch not safe for work filter? Do you mean you can filter by things? I guess you can do either one. You can filter things that are not safe for work that are safe for work. I have not. 
I have seen a lot of um, concerning <laughs> uh, live stream fails of people Twitch streaming basically softcore porn and really abusing the hot tub whatever like thing they have. And I, yeah, so I'm glad anything the Twitch can add to, to kind of get rid of some of that garbage. Unless, I mean, if you're into that, you're into that. You know what? Up to you. It's just, it's just weird seeing it on Twitch. Where am I going? <laughs> Why am <laughs> It's a huge mountain called Mount Hylia. How hard can it be to find? Okay, so this is my initial plan. Okay, so I am way far away. Oh, I need to come around this way? That might be it. Okay. Mm, okay, so let's try going around here using the topology. Kind of skirt around the corners and then we'll go up like that. Every time you do the top mountain in Acadia, I think about how cool it would be just to use a hang glider fly down to Bar Harbor. <laughs> I, I Okay, so I assume you're talking about a video game. Um, words like Acadia sounds like it's a fictional world. If it's in real life, that's awesome. Okay, so it is a real place. That's awesome. I personally am terrified of paragliders in real life. They look so unstable. And that's too much power to have. Like, I would, I cannot trust myself paragliding through the air. He's in Narnia. <laughs> Honestly, it kind of does sound like Narnia. Acadia and Bar Harbor sound like fictitious places. Oh, gotcha. I love a good national park. I saw um, Netflix put out a, a national park series, like mini documentary, where Obama is the narrator. And honestly, it upset me so much because I just, it made, it reminded me how good a speaker Obama is and how much I just could just sit there and mindlessly think, could listen to him talk for hours about penguins and their like <laughs> migration patterns and all that. Oh, it was a really good documentary. They go to Africa. Does anything for money? Yeah. It's a, it's a company. It's a business. <laughs> If they did things, like, not for money, it wouldn't make financial sense, would it? <laughs> Bro, McDonald's would do anything for money. <laughs> it's a good documentary, though. I just like, I, I like hearing him talk a lot. Also, I mean, obviously, they have some, some of the shots they have are just fin- I, I never, oh, that's a big boulder, man. Okay. You know what, we haven't done anything really- difficult yet so we can be beat a stone talent oh i lied holy crap all right so here's the trick for a stone talus what you do is you hop on his back and you break this thing okay and we're gonna stay up here like it's the mecha brutal fight in oh we don't have enough stamina don't hit me don't hit me don't hit me I don't know if it's a way with words more than a, um, see, my fellow Americans, I have a way of speaking where I put pauses throughout every sentence that I say. He just kind of has that mentality and it, oh, I feel like if other people try it, it doesn't work, but he, his voice is just so good. Um, uh, let's eat. I believe this guy just drops amber. My fellow Americans. Oh. Skeleton boy, it's daytime. It's time for you to go bye-bye. Where, where is your face? Oh. Whoo. Dodge it. Climb, baby, climb. There we go. Anyways. <laughs> no problem, dude. I do that all the time. I, I don't know why. Like, oh my gosh. We got some money out of him. We can sell that. Hell yeah. Like, when I text people, 
I sound like I can do everything I want when I send emails perfect not a problem but some reason in twitch chat I always send things like three words too early and it just looks then I just look like I'm like intoxicated or something on here because I'm just missing words and it just looks insane Oh, I would say, yeah, he's got a voice on par with Morgan Freeman. They both have really good, just, narration voices. Okay. I just love... My fellow Americans. Here we have a group of penguins hunting for fish. These fish are different than many other different kinds of fish. You can see by the striations in their flesh... They arise from the Arctic Kingdom. And in the Arctic... It's insane because it sounds like one big sentence fragment. Like, there seems to be no end to any sentence. They just keep railing into each other. When's the Ben Shapiro documentary? I hope never. <laughs> Unless it's like a good meme documentary. I don't need to watch any, like, real life... Do so you're telling me in Romania, they know who Ben Shapiro is? Like, he's so much of a meme in America that people in other countries are aware of his stupidity elsewhere. That's hilarious. That's absolutely insane. You know who Ben Shapiro is. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You have British... That's insane too! Why do British people know who Ben Shapiro is? Like, he's just like a, a political nut job that just spouts whatever he wants that like sometimes makes sense and other times it's like insane. It just boggles the mind that, like, people listen to him. <laughs> if you're a big Ben Shapiro fan, I apologize, but he's a nut job. <laughs> he's my lord and savior. <laughs> Alright, so let's equip our nice nor warm doublet so that we don't freeze to death. And we're looking good, yeah. Okie dokie. The shrine is up there, so that's our objective. Oh? Okay, now, okay, this is kind of crazy. Can I jump from, nope, 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 get out of the water. So, freezing water kills you, even with a warm doublet on. That's important to keep in mind. A lot of people don't know that. Even if you're wearing a nice coat, if you jump into freezing water, you still die. Interesting. Interesting. But I kind of... Okay, so we'll get Cryonis. Because I want to get to that boat. And then we can use the Korok Leaf to kind of sail around. Which is great. But I can't get to the boat unless I have Cryonis. Oh, I didn't equip the thing yet. Now nah, we're good. Um, I think we're going to have to walk around. Because I think the bridge is blocked off. We need Cryonis to get across. You're welcome. My Bear Grylls is on point. There's some great things online to show, like, so Bear Grylls, the advice he gives is solid, but a lot of the videos he puts out are fake. Like, he's not really in any danger. He's always, like, pretty nearby to a city and other stuff. There's some great YouTube videos that show, like, scenes from the Bear Grylls TV show. Um, what is it called? I don't know, like, In the Wild or something. Oh, there's a chest. Oh, you... When do I learn how to flurry rush? I don't know. I probably should be able to do that now. I'm just not timing it right. I don't know. Oh, we're gonna need a new weapon. Well, I know, okay, so. Oh, but anyway, okay, so in the YouTube clips, it shows a scene from his TV show, and then it pans the camera to show you what's like they're not showing you, and it's always like, there was one of them, there was a highway. Like, 40 yards from where he was standing. Which is insane. But I mean, it's one thing to say that it's just for education, but if, but the way they're displaying it makes you think that he's in the wilderness and there's a risk of him dying. Like, they show him, like, para-dropping into a region he's never been before, but really, he's there's, there's things nearby. And I think Netflix put out a, um, like, an interactive version of that. No, it doesn't matter. I'm not upset with it. I just thought it was, um... Whoop. 
I just thought it was funny. It's one thing if, you know. God, why can't I hit you? I can hit you. You and your shield. Now you're done. Shield. Or er, sword. Okay, now, okay. Actually, what we're going to do instead, I'm going to try to line up this shot. So I shoot it through the fire. And... I <laughs> kill myself. Let's go. So, I, I know. I need to change the cooking stream reward to a community goal. I keep forgetting to do that. At the end of the stream, I'll make sure to do that. Because that is one that everyone's kind of putting up. I actually need to get... I kind of need to get rid of it. Because uh, my buddy basically said that he's going to come visit me in a, in a couple months. Or about eh, a little over a month. And we're just going to do it together so he can film and help me cook. So it doesn't really need to be a goal at all. So I wouldn't put any coin, any boot bucks towards it. But yeah, it should have been a community goal. I basically just got the ability to make coin redemption stuff. And, oh god, this got to be good stuff, right? Alright, so here's where we're going to use the Korok Leaf. We're going to... Yeah. Yeah, 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 Whoop. Yep, that will do it. Yeah, alright. Now we can go get that. Yeah, Jay's very nice. He's going to help me cook. We're going to make pizza. It's going to be great. Also, I don't think anyone's going to have enough boot bucks to redeem it before then anyway, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> but I think that would be fun. And it'll probably go horribly wrong, like the um, the one person who set her house on fire while she was doing a cooking live stream. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen, but you never know. You know, it's a live stream. Anything could happen. It's live. All right, I'm pretty sure I'm going in the right direction. I think it's just up there. If not, I want to go to the top of this. Single player live, laugh, love percent? Nah. You can't live, laugh, love by yourself. You know, it's... If you build a house in single player Minecraft, it's just a house. But if you build it in multiplayer Minecraft, it's a home. And that makes all the difference. Oh, boy. we were, Oh, God. This isn't the right place to go. But... I mean, there's got to be something up here, right? <laughs> Probably a Korok seed. Oh, my God. Oh, it's old man. Hello, old man. You enjoy gazing out in the world as well? Breathtaking view you got up here. Do you know about the scope? Okay. Yeah, I do actually know how to do that. Yeah, how do you know about the Sheikah Slate? You never had it before. Yeah, maybe I will look. Okay. Interesting. Oh, God, where did I put that? Wow, I put that pin out there. Okay. Delete the pin. All right, you have a good night. Oh, there's Flint here. Um, we're also going to launch this boulder, is my plan. Oh, we can't. Rats. Dang, this looks like such a Korok seed thing. Yeah, I'll hit it with a sledgehammer once. Nope, can't even hit it with a sledgehammer if you tried. Back to the Korok leaf. Skips. Big skips. Don't die. She might as well eat some apples. We did stockpile a good amount of food. Nice. Alright, now we just gotta go to the shrine and get... And then we'll be off the Great Plateau. Eh, about an hour and a half. Ain't too bad. I think the speedrun would be done beating the game three times by now, but you know, <laughs> you know, it, it's good enough. All right, let's. Where the hell is this shrine? Oh, I thought I saw it for a glimpse. Looking for an orange-looking place. I think it's this way. Call me crazy. It is this way. Uh-huh. That's that big brain thinking right there. Object permanence. Even if I don't see it, I know it's there. Or you can be like the old man and say it's clairvoyance. <laughs> Okie dokie. So let's go do the Cryonis Shrine. I'm also very excited to get the meta cycle in this game. Or the motorcycle. Whatever they call this. The, the motorcycle thing. Okay, you see these guys up there? We're going to shove them all off the cliff with the Korok Leaf. That is obviously the strat. Do you move slower in the snow? 
You think the snow slows you down? I feel like it does. That's that's a that's an unique take they probably have in this game. I still want to learn how to sh Oh my god, they throw boulders. Oh my god, they throw a lot of boulders. Okay. You know, I was going to kill you, but now I'm going to kill you. Burn him? Light him on fire? Ah! Okay. What? Okay, Korok leaf might not work the way I wanted it to. Let's eat. I don't want to die. Not like this. Whew. Don't let him throw the... No, no, no. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. Smack him around a little bit. Yeah? Woo? Woo? No? Close? There it is. All right. Off the ledge. I wonder if I can throw this at him. Oh, no. I did not know those blew up when you throw them. TNT barrels, you know? Crazy. No, my Korok leaf is on fire. You asshole. I need that. But now I'm going to burn you to death. Oh, my Korok leaf is... Fine. Throw it at him. <laughs> Bro, there's something so satisfied about this game. Just chucking a freaking skeleton arm at someone and it crits them. That's so good. Oh, all right. Uh, this is frozen water. We can't get this yet. We're going to need to go. Oh, we get some meat over here, though. Don't forget to scoop that up. All right. Enough walking around. It's time to get off this plateau and get our much needed paraglider. Skip. Skip. All right. So this cryonis just lets us freeze water and make pillars of it. And this gives us enough to um to buy a heart when we get home. Back to the Temple of Time. Alright. Nice. Our login credentials were verified. Good. And the server gives us that good goop goop right over our tablet. The data transfer of the future. Dun 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 dun! Alright. Okay. Cool, 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 cool mountain. Alright, so let's use Cryonis. Uh, it's, it's... Pretty... Easy to use. <laughs> I, dude, I still want to learn how to shield surf properly. Alright. Now, now that we have all of the different items, we get to do some crazy things. You're gonna block it? Woohoo! Idiot. Woo! Okay, let's get a sword out. Did you tell me about the toaster PCs? You did not. What is a toaster PC? If that's a PC that looks like a toaster, that's the most incredible thing I've ever heard, and I want one now. Because that's fun. <laughs> Now that I'm speaking it out loud, that's all I want in life. Is I want my PC, but it looks like a big toaster. <laughs> that's the game console. Oh my god, instead of an Xbox or a PlayStation, it just looks like a toaster and you put cart you put CDs in the toaster. <laughs> exactly. Freeze it. Alright. Okay, I'm buckled. Buckle up for safety. Okay. I am ready. Um. Oh. Well, that's free. I can climb these, right? You own seven toasters. I guess that makes sense. Um. I mean, I don't own seven cactuses. I own two, and they both died. Um, and I couldn't bring myself to buy any more cactuses because <laughs> they, I kept killing them. <laughs> and I can't be I can't be the god of death among cactuses. All right, so he's got seven toasters. Seven shiny boys. And you opened them up and took out all the toaster bits 
So you just have the shell, just the metal or plastic shell. Insert an ITX PC. I don't know what ITX stands for. I assume it's a small PC like a Raspberry Pi would be my guess. And you kind of just carve out the uh, the ports. What is an ITX? I'm just going to look it up so you don't have to explain it. Keep going, keep going. Compact motherboard configuration designed to... Okay, low-cost computers. Got it. I'm with you. <laughs> and you just run the toaster. Very small computer. Perfect. Bro, that's great. Now, <laughs> now I'm just thinking of all the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's a normal PC. I got you. Um, It's just small. It's compact. It runs a full operating system. I'm with you. Bro, you can turn anything into a computer. You can just shove it in anything. I can make a shoe computer. I can make... I'm not gonna make a guitar computer. That'd be bigger than a, my actual computer. You can just stick a computer on the wall. Oh. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as endpoints. Find the spots where they inter intersect. You got 3D model and print brackets stuff to make it all work. And Dream came true. Or Dremel out some of uh, the input outports. It's really cool. That sounds great. That sounds like a phenomenal project. So what do you use your um your <laughs> your uh, toaster PC for? Because obviously I don't think it can like... Uh, it can probably... I assume does it run Windows 10 or does it run Linux? Because everything I made that's um, kind of that size all runs off a Linux-based operating system. A shoebox piece. <laughs> I still have to keep the server running soon. Okay, so you, you run a server off of it. Shoop. 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 Oh, the toaster uh, server. Okay, one second. Let's see here. We got a line. Bam, bam, bam. I think they intersect what? Here, it's the Temple of Time. They intersect the Temple of Time. Obviously there. Okay. Fastest way I think is through here. Whew. It's a Minecraft server. It runs Windows 10. Cool. We're about to set one of those up ourselves. My brother's got a... um. It literally a big boy PC, like a normal PC that basically just sitting around. It's basically just constructed using everyone else's leftover PC parts when they built their own computers. And yeah, that'll run the heck out of a Minecraft server. Not a problem. <laughs> I have like 23 other PCs from a furniture store. <laughs> what? What is this? This guy got a freaking warehouse full of PCs in all different configurations. You just pick up random things. You're like, Oh, is this a water bottle? No, it's a computer. What? Okay. But like, but this is a pillow, right? This is a pillow. No, that's another PC. Everything's a PC. It's like a Black Mirror episode. That's the true smart house. <laughs> that's the true envisionment of the future for smart house. It's everything is a PC. You can connect to anything. Screw smart fridges. I want a smart toaster. I want a smart... <laughs> I want a smart cabinet. Actually. No, that's so stupid. Why would I want that? I think that's the biggest problem. People ask, can we do that? Not should we do that? Can we make a shoe into a PC? Yes. Should we? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Alright, so I'm 99% sure he's just at the top of the Temple of Time. But before we go up there... We can go scoop an extra... I'm trying to think. I think I'm just going to grab a heart for right now. You stack them on top of the other to make a desk and save space because they're so... <laughs> You're... <d> <laughs> so you got all your... <laughs> you have a stack of PCs as a desk. Your desk itself is the computer. <laughs> 
That's phenomenal. You only have three. It's not important. It's just the idea that you have so many, like, leftover PCs that they're just used as, like, filing cabinets and as furniture. You have a chair made out of PCs. You have a desk made out of PCs. That's phenomenal. I've never heard anyone with that setup before. That's the true um, power, or what is it? Battle station. It's like a hard container. It's just, <laughs> just a desk made out of smaller PCs. Yay! Heart. Big heart. You know that heart? You think it's a heart container? Wrong. It's a PC. <laughs> Boop. All right. Now we just climb to the top. Oh, all right. I, I get it. You're at, you're at the top. Hello, sir. Here you are. You're glowing now. That's not how people normally look. Now I'm going to have questions. Why are you glowing? Maybe we'll find out pretty soon here. Ladder. Ladder. Whoop. And yeah. We just go scoop. I think... Is there a quark seed at the top of that? I feel like there is. Here, before we talk to him, we're going to climb to the top of this. Okay. Good. It just looks like a place where a Korok seed would be. And yeah, we don't need all the Korok seeds. But I want to, you know, the easy ones that kind of just exist. That we like, I think there's one. I'm going to go scoop them. Because I believe they give you more inventory space. There is a Korok up here. Let's go. How do I get him? Examine. There it is. Press A. That's how you find him. Nice. Bye. Climb climb down. Don't talk. Okay, I jumped. That's fine. That's why we brought the extra health. The extra heart. So I can do stupid stuff like that. Yep. Alright, now we'll talk to you. All right, big reveal. Well done there, young one. I forgot this voice acted. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. Dad? I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. <laughs> That's quite the name, Bosphoramus. Leader of Hyrule. Sure you were, bud. Sure you were. Oh, okay. Now I believe you. King Rohan boss for Ramus Hyrule. No way. Look how dripped out he is. Oh, okay, sorry. We'll get into serious mode. A century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. That's a unique way to say they killed you. Here I have remained in spirit form. All right, I'm going to run to the bathroom. You guys can watch the cutscene. I I've seen it enough. I know what happens. So rather than that thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know the Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom. But his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear. And the power to oppose it lies dormant. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It was Is he done talking yet? Several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. Bro, that's a dope fit. I want to get the ninja fit. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant. Ah, divine beasts. We also found the guardians 
an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. How long was it? Hundred years ago? This What's the timetable on this? Ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. Okay, so now we got a bunch of divine beasts and a bunch of guardians. Zelda does not look as good as she used to. That is an ugly Zelda. And that's an ugly me. Not cute. Hashtag not cute. 100 years ago. 100 years ago. Why don't you just say me and Zelda? You're acting like I wasn't there. Also, you're, why do you keep saying a princess? Just name her. Oh, the goats. Dude, I'm so excited for this game. I freaking love... You know, call me... Call me a little bit different, but I love Zelda. I love the Legend of Zelda franchise. I know that's a... You know, that's a little against the grain. But it's great. Ah, uh, and Ganon took over the Divine Beasts and the Guardians. He made them evil. I should probably get more invested in the story. We're gonna be here for a while, you know. I should probably like, you know, feel the the determination and terror that Link is feeling right now. Got the lizard. I don't know what that is. The elephant. The, the bird. That's the bird. Uh, was like the giraffe-looking thing? Dude, that's got to be the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. It's literally like Attack on Titan right here. The Guardians going into town and just maneuvering over everything. Like, you can't stop that. Like, Link has a problem stopping that. Imagine if you're just a normal person, and you see a freaking spider laser thing shooting at you. How? No one knows. Was she gonna sing him to death? Oh no, she just kind of says, Stop, Ganon. Stop being <laughs> to face Ganon alone. Just puts hand up in the air and gets eaten. <laughs> what a good job, Zelda. That princess was my own daughter. Sorry, King Rashbabam. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very Who could it be? That knight was none other than you, Link. <gasps> she doesn't have any response to that whatsoever. He doesn't know what words are. He's still he just awoken from a hundred year slumber. He's still getting back into the swing of things. Here you now stand, revitalized one hundred years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda. I had no herself. idea. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. I still have no idea if she's alive. My daughter's Yeah, hundred years exhausted. with no I mean is she made of magic? I guess she's got the triangle on her arm. And nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom. I have Such no a chad. No emotion. Just straight facing through all this. Ghost talking to you. Not weird. Link gets through it. You must save her, my daughter. Okay. And do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Okay. But let's talk about that paraglider, though, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, taking over the world, yada, yada. But where's that paraglider at, though? Where's that thing that lets me go zoom, zoom through the air? Yeah, we're not doing that. If you're looking for a speed run, we're not, we ain't doing that. There's no way in hell I'm doing that. We're going for all the divine beasts. We're going to go dress up. We're going to do, oh, there's so many good things in this game. I'm so excited to replay it. Impa! We know Impa! Consult the map we met young Impa in Skyward Sword! And she was so cool and badass! Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Okay. Are you back? Ah, the paraglider. Dun uh, Alright. So now we can zoom. We got past the plateau. It took two hours. Not too bad. Now we have all the runes other than the camera. And we got a paraglider. 
Shut up. Alright, now I save Hyrule. Got it. This is my favorite part of the game. It just says destroy Ganon. That's that's the quest. Just go kill him. You get that at the very beginning of the game. A soldier's bow? Hell yeah. Alright. So now that we have the paraglider, we can go zoop zoop right off the Great Plateau. Yeah. Woo! That was clutch. Probably should have slept. But anyway, it's not that important. Okay. So our next kind of stop is Kakariko Village. But we obviously will be doing a couple things along the way. I think we might be taming a horse. Because that will be fun. Do I remember how to do it? Are we going to do it anyway? Yes, sir. All right. Paraglider sick. Okay. I don't think there's anything I need over here. Actually, there is one thing that's actually very important that we go do. Let me go rip. Let me go over here right quick. You'll see why in a second. It's actually extremely important that we do this. It really will change the game substantially. I cannot overhype this, this next little thing we're going to be doing. Alright, so... What we're going to want to do is... Kill that. That wasn't part of the game plan, but... Okay. So now... If I remember correctly... There should be a chesty on one of these pillars. We're gonna we're gonna need that chest. There it is. Okay, so let's go grab that. And that has anything everything we'll ever need. It is really the salvation of Hyrule in a chest. It's the Nintendo Switch shirt. You know it. You love it. Obviously, you have to equip that. Now we're looking fresh as hell. The DLC everyone wanted. Let's go. All right. So that's really going to change the game. That gives Link insane stats, I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Guardian's coming alive. Nope. I'm not fighting that. I'm not fighting those either. We're going... Whoop. No, don't... Okay. I messed up the buttons a little bit, but we didn't die when we jumped off the cliff. Okay. So, now we're exploring. Again, I really need to find a place to sleep. I hate dealing with skellies. Anything in here? This feels like a place they put a chest, right? Hmm... I guess not. Okay. Well, we'll just keep on going then. Alright, so now we're over here. In this big old... Okay, this is where we're trying to go. So we probably want to find a map of some kind to kind of make, make everything look a little prettier. But... Yeah, we'll find it along the way. There's Hyrule. Is that where I'm supposed to be going? Where are you? Oh, it's way out there. Okay. I'll leave the marker on there, though. Imagine what games are going to be like in 2050. <sighs> Man, I just don't know. You know, the scary thing is... If you... Just ter in terms of pure monetary value... If you were a game company... So what... Okay. There's two things. One thing I'm... Oh, this is a, a stone tolus. Okay. The thing I'm scared about is that the games that make the most money are service games, specifically mobile games. Because, oh, how do I even hit that? I have no idea. Um, so I'm, I'm afraid that the gaming community will... Oh? Uh, will basically move towards mobile games because they make a lot of money. And basically, kind of ruin it for the rest of us. 
However, I think on the upside, the ability to make games gets easier and easier over time. So for instance, if you wanted to make a game, I don't know, back in 2000, you'd have to be pretty good at programming and all that fun stuff to kind of put a game together. Um, it's It'd be pretty difficult. However, as time goes on, making games becomes easier so more and more people can get at it, which makes the game just more... There's more of them. Okay. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna ignore him. I kind of want to... I don't have any tools to kill him. Yeah, so like, for instance, if you wanted the game Pokemon, Pokemon Red and Blue, to write that... If you look at... Oh, dear God. If you look at that, it's a very difficult thing to kind of make. It's lines of codes. It's extremely hard to test, debug, get out to the public. It's hard. However, if you wanted to make that game now, there are so many, like, platforms and software to use to make it relatively easy to make that type of game really, really fast. And by giving that ability to a lot more people, it just really... Oh, okay, that was a creature. Um, it just it just gives you more games out there. It means that if you had an idea for a game, you didn't have to become an expert level programmer to put it together. You can just use one of those softwares. So that's what I'm hoping is more prevalent in the future. They make game design and game creation more accessible to the rest of people, and they can make anything they want. Um, in terms of graphics, I hope we don't evolve too far. Like, like I'm all in it for games that are hyper realistic and look really pretty like oh there's a shrine around here um like detroit becoming human looks really pretty or like the last of us looks like really realistic but i really like this type of art style or you know kind of artsy games you know where it doesn't look hyper realistic but it looks really pretty to just kind of move around and do stuff so i don't think that will go away art design as a as a premise yeah to be honest i <laughs> i'm not a big fan of games that are hyper realistic not because of that by itself um what is it Oof! how hard is this guy to kill not easy but we definitely can kill him Yeah, like Paper Mario, that's not, you know, hyper-realistic. That's a really pretty game. Hollow Knight, not hyper-realistic, but super pretty. One of the prettiest games ever. This, oh my god. This game, I think, could could do a little better with... I, I think some of the graphic stuff you could do a little better if you had more horsepower on the Switch. But, all in all, very pretty game. Alright, so let's go do this shrine. Oh, you know what? I don't need to fight any of you guys. I don't have the tools. You don't give experience or anything, so I'm just gonna dip. dip, 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 dip. The <laughs> Tom, why you gotta be like that? We were having fun examining what the what the gaming community would be like in 2050, and you're you're bringing the whole crowd down. You're like, well. Will we even really have a gaming community in 2050 with the way that, you know, climate change, rising oceans, trash piling up, global turmoil, nuclear warheads being developed? Will we even have a world to come back to in 2050? Asking the big boy questions. <laughs> God. It's just, it's just X twice. Okay. I, I know how to pull out a paraglider, I promise. I swear I do. Told you. Okay, what do you got? Amber. Sick. Dude, we're gonna next time we go to a shop, we're gonna sell so much stuff. Oop. <laughs> Yet. That's okay. I, I think I bring that up a lot anyway. I think Whoopi was in here saying like cows fart methane, and I don't know why, like my pessimistic brain was like, that's not, you know, it could be just a fun fact, but I had to turn it into like, well, you know, the, the methane those cows are producing, you know, basically is going to turn our world into garbage. No reason to bring that up. Okay. Um, why does this exist? Ah, 
okay. Got it. Okay, so we're gonna get that chest. Because it seems like we can get to the end just by jump zooming off this thing. Right? Yeah. I forgot how to cancel it. Is it B to cancel? No! Oh! <laughs> that was close. Please be good. That's pretty good. On NFTs, I think NFTs are freaking stupid. <laughs> and I think the world is figuring that out too. It's a, it's a classic trend. It's just that people saw money in it. It got way too overvalued. I don't get the, like... Some of it is kind of cool. The idea that... I think eventually, eventually it will make... It's a better concept. The idea of having... It basically gives you limited run items, but they kind of already exist. I don't really see a lot of benefit until... I guess the metaverse takes off. I don't even think the metaverse as we know about today is really all that promising. But the idea of... Um, people basically spend more time online than they have ever before. And people essentially pay money to flex on people with online things. It's already a thing. So like having skins in Fortnite could be an NFT. I think the problem is right now it's like an insane, um, <laughs> everything's so expensive. Like it's just a picture of a board ape. That's an NFT for a million dollars. That's ridiculous. But I think the idea of like in the future having like a custom sweatshirt that you designed yourself and imported into, I don't know, fictitious metaverse world. That's only yours and no one copy because it's got a unique identifier. That would be pretty cool. And I think that makes sense. But the <laughs> NFTs are stupid overall. Don't really make a lot of um, a lot of sense to me. Copy and paste, baby. What the heck did I get? Oh. Oh. Oh, snap. We can get cool stuff. Okay, so I never had the DLC for this game. And I think all of these, so all of these are, um, when it says EX, that's for the DLC. So these are quests that weren't available in the original game. But it looks like this gives you all the cool armor from other games. So like, Ancient Mask is probably like the, oh yeah, no, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want the pixel art NFTs. They do make millions, but they're also dropping extremely fast, so... Now is the absolute worst time to get in NFTs, which is, yeah, um, because things that people bought like a month ago for hundreds of thousands or a million dollars are now worth a fraction, a very small fraction of that. So I think, I don't think it will ever be a time we're going to make the amount of money you did off NFTs between now and a year ago. I think that was the peak. It's only going downhill from now. Um, which actually is good for the rest of us, you know, it's really outside of the consumable market, but as it really reallocates to the correct price and stabilizes, then and more people can get into it and do fun stuff. And as the blockchain becomes more accessible and people can just put things on there more easily. All right. So let's see what these are. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. What the hell? Okay, gotcha. Yeah, it's not the actual pixel art. It's it's putting it onto the stupid blockchain and basically encrypting it and making it unique. That's that's the NFT thing. But it's it's so it's so hard to do that. That's why they're all pixel art. It, it's it's real stupid. At least I think it is. But also I'm not an expert on it, so I can't complain too much. All right, so I think the Twilight Relic is. I want all these cool outfits. I think fairy clothes is probably Tingle. Twilight Relic is probably the sick uh, Twilight Princess clothes. Phantasma is probably the Phantom Armor. So what if I... Can I hunt these down? Where am I right now? Oh, I don't know yet. Okay, we'll, we'll come back when we have the map. We'll do all the fun side quests. I think that'd be so... I would love to get decked out in cool clothing. Alright, so if I wanted to go to Horse Rumors. Oh, that's for a Pona, I bet. Because you couldn't get a Pona. Like, a Pona is Link's horse in all the other games. 
Yeah, you, I want to make <laughs> an NFT frog detective. <laughs> it's just that, but it's <laughs> that's an NFT. Okay. Let's see here. These all explode. Oh, God, I didn't mean to shoot that. That's on me. I definitely didn't want to do that. Okay. Okay, we do have the big giant claymore, though. And it's broke. Oh, that's a traveler's claymore. Let's get the... Eh, this be fine. Yeah, launch him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Eat, 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 eat. I do not have a lot of food. Um, alright. Everything breaks so easily. Alright. I'll be scooping the spiked Boko shield, and yeah, that'll be nice. Yeah! I actually really like how that one turned out. I'm pretty proud of that one. I mean, did I mostly trace it off an existing picture? Oh! Yes. Do I still think it looks cool? Yes. Did I get copyright claim for it? No. It's my cool Squirtle, not anyone else's. All right, so maybe we don't have the weapons or maybe I'm just bad. I, it's, it just works really well. So, I mean, I feel, I would feel bad just yoinking it off the internet if you can't do a reverse image search for it, I think you're in the clear. Alright. Okay, so this time... Oh, did all those barrels explode? I could have sworn... Aren't there barrels? Isn't that what I just came from? There's no barrels. Or maybe they're not loaded from this far. Yeah, but I, I like just... I'll take an image I like, throw it into, like, MS Paint, trace over it, delete the original picture, and just fill it in to make it really simple. You also don't want too much detail in an emote because no one can see it. Hi, guy. Brigo. I might be someone used to seeing bad omens by now, but let's... Yeah, I think that... Yeah, I think the castle looking bad is a pretty bad omen. All right, cool. The skeletons? Oh, the towers. Oh, yeah, no. I, I have no idea how those came about. That's not... Oh, also the shrines came about. It means the end is near. I would think the same thing, to be honest. Um, if something still is for what? What thing? Oh, the guardian. Yeah, no, I'm terrified of those things. Yeah, if that if that starts moving, I'm dipping. We ain't hanging around. They shoot blue beams. Yeah, 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 yeah. You escape. Good boy. Good job, Brigo. Got any more? Yeah, useful information for me? Nah. Yeah. I think this emote's pretty fun. I had a good time doing it. Oh, uh, there's a chest. You think I can just sneak and get that chest? I think so. Yeah, they're big stupid bow goblins. They won't see this coming. Opal! Boop. And I'm out. Yeah, if anyone has any more good emote ideas, I'd be happy to hear them. Because there's probably a few I can get rid of, or at least have in the backlog, you know? Oh, there's the tower! Sick! Because I'd like to have just a good collection of them, just have around. I do get one animated emote that I do not know what to do with yet. I don't know it would be, like, a really good animated emote. It's got to be pretty simple, because I'm not, like, a master at <laughs> designing those things. Oh, absolutely. If you just take... S <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm stealing from, like... Oh, I'm borrowing. I'm using... I'm sorry. I say that wrong. I'm using inspiration from, like, well-known things. <laughs> like Nintendo... Or, yeah. Nintendo or Game Game Freak for the Pokemon. They they don't need that. But if someone took time to, like, custom make an emote, I'm not taking it from them. Hell no. <laughs> they deserve that one. If I want... If I want one of those, I'll just pay them. Not a big deal. Oh, God. Am I going to die getting across this water? gonna be close can i stand here yeah we're fine the big bun company don't really care as long as you don't make yeah if, I'm, I'm not selling it <laughs> that being said nintendo has taken down a lot of um 
basically knockoff video games, even if they're not selling for anything. I know someone made <laughs> someone made a Pokemon like first person shooter where you catch them all by hunting down Pokemon and they shut that down. I mean, Nintendo's been over the top about getting rid of clones and, you know, even if they're free, not making money off it. They just really want to protect that IP for whatever reason. Ooh, boat. Oh, we don't have a Korok leaf anymore. Gross. Ooh, a chest. I like chests. I like chests. I was just saying I wanted a Korok leaf. Oh my god, we're going on the boat, baby. Alright, somewhere... Okay, let's switch to our best weapon, the Korok leaf. I don't know why I've become so infatuated with the Korok leaf, but I sure have. Whee! Oh. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Nice. Bring it in. I'll be yoinking that. Cactus with slides? Slides on? Oh, the glasses? That might be good. I can see that being good. I do already have... Oh, this is a Korok Leaf? This is a Korok Leaf for sure. I do already have the, um... I had the Super Mario Cactus. Which I thought... Which I thought was pretty clever. But I definitely wouldn't mind... I would love to find a, um... A good artist to make a solid emote for me, especially for the cactus ones. I wouldn't mind having, like, a theme to the stuff I have. Because right now it's kind of all random. Like, none of them are anything specific to me. Oh, God. I shouldn't have jumped in here. Alright, now we got to swim real carefully. I'll see if I can pick up a fish on the way, though. Fishy? Where are you going to go? Oh, fish out of water! <laughs> okay. No Korok Leaf. Have I played Nintendogs? Of oh my god. I didn't see you at all. Damn it. 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 Okay. Eat. He takes three hearts away from me. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. He can't climb, can he? No. Blow it up. He's throwing things at me. Oh, okay. Who's arching me? Who do you... Alright, he's dead. Good. Oh, boy. This blue bow goblin is just built different. We've killed everyone inside of here. I don't know why I'm not getting crit points. I guess I'm aiming low. I don't know. I guess we can just... Let's just battle him. mono y mano Let's get our big... Nope, not that. Let's get... Yeah, this will probably kill him. There it is. Okay. And he probably drops good things, like a Boko shield and a soldier's broadsword. Nice. Both those things are good. Um, Let's drop... I don't know. We probably don't need all of our shields. Like, this one is pretty much garbage, right? Yeah. Sounds better. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, and there wasn't even a chest in here? Yeah, I played Nintendogs. Um, got a little off track. Um, I played... I used to play the crap out of that when I on my DS when I was growing up. I was an absolute... I would always get a Golden Retriever, because they're my favorite puppers. And they would be... Every time they were goaded at the Frisbee game. I freaking love... The frisbee game, I was goaded at it. I don't know why. Um, I couldn't do... I didn't teach my dogs any tricks whatsoever. I focused purely on making the best <laughs> fetching dog possible. I believe I can just... If I can get to that rock, we'll be good. And we can basically climb around it, I think? You take a little break from Gold Retriever on the game since I have one. Yeah, so when I go... So I have... um. The one picture dog I really like. I guess it could be more artsy. I kind of like the real photos. I'm going to get a better, better picture of Pizza. She's the white dog when I go back and see her this weekend. And hopefully I'll get a new emote for her. I've been asking my brother to take pictures of her, but he's really bad at remembering. 
I had to ask my mom to take pictures for me. That was a mistake. Um, she takes pictures like most moms do. They're out of focus, blurry, and pretty much hot garbage. And I didn't have it in me to go back and tell her, like, no, those aren't the pictures I'm looking for. Like, better pictures. I, I couldn't do that to her. So I'm just going to go and take them myself. With my crappy camera. That would be pretty... I wouldn't mind a um, Nintendogs pick and then put some, like, shades on him or give him a ball or something. That would be pretty cool. Oh, or the Mario hat. I actually remember, um... There's certain things you can only get... God, I'm getting flashbacks in Nintendogs. There's certain things you'd only get by a lucky drop on a walk. So I'd walk my dog as frequently as possible because, um... You have a chance of finding an item on the walk. You know, like in real life where you take your dog on a walk and they'll just find... A cool new item for you. And I was hunting down the Mario and Luigi hats because I thought they were so cool. You could put them on your dog. Oh. That would be pretty cute. A little, little Nintendo dog with a Mario hat. Mm. Adorable. Absolutely adorable. Hell yeah. We got a fast travel station. And more importantly, we got the map unlocked. So we actually see where we are. And it gives us the good gel to figure out, I don't know, I guess it's map data. You know, they couldn't just get it wirelessly. They had to get it glooped onto our Sheikah Slate. That being said, I don't know if we're in the future or the past, you know? In my mind, like, this is post-civilization. Like, nuclear fallout has, you know, already happened. We're a thousand years from right now. And the human race has developed into weird... Fictitious animals and whatever Link is. Oh, we got the Sheikah sensor. Let's go. Nice. Cool. All right. So let's see. Are there any shrines nearby? There it is. There's the good bloop bloop. Got it. Okay. Um, got the map. Do we see anything I want to go to? What's my favorite game? That is a... Okay, so I'm going to have to put them into categories. To be 100% honest, um, a game that has become my new like guilty pleasure game, like, if I don't know what to play, I'm really kind of obsessed with Super Mario Odyssey. It's just one of... Just a great game just to play. Oh my god, I didn't press the right button. But is it my favorite game? I know my favorite, like, multiplayer game is Rocket League. That's the only competitive game I play. And I'm a real big fan of that. Um, in terms of single-player games, it's a lot more complicated. Like, I really like the Legend of Zelda series. This game's phenomenal, but I think my favorite from there is um, Wind Waker. Because that was my first Zelda game. But is it my favorite? I don't think so. I played a lot of the Pokemon games. I'm a big fan of Soul Silver and heart gold but again favorite games to bold it's such a, it's such a hard thing to say because there's a i play a lot of games and i like a lot of them <laughs> you haven't played in a month that's okay <laughs> And I play, I probably play it a few, a few times a week. It's literally the only game that I'm actually quote unquote like objectively good at. Um, hmm. Cause I'm, <laughs> I don't play any other like ranked game, so it's hard to know if you're good or bad at a, at a thing, cause you just don't know. Um. But, like, in that game, I'm, like, champ three. I'm, like, right on the verge of grand champ. And I know for a fact that's, like, top 5% of players in the world, which is awesome. That means if I come across, you know, 100 people that play Rocket League, there's a 95% chance that I'm better than them at it, which is phenomenal. Off. Nice. And I hop on a match. All right, good luck. Have fun. I know they just added a game mode knockout. I have not played it at all because I'm terrified I'm just going to get wrecked at it. 
But I, I'm a real big fan of Rocket League. I think it's a... It's such a simple concept. Oh, I didn't do that right. But it's just executed really, really well. Alright. And we go... Whoop. And then... Let's see here. Watch. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. I think this is possible. I can either put something on this. But I think I can also just stasis this, right? Yeah. Okay. So what if I... Stop time like that. This needs to go. Hell yeah, that was clever. That was pretty sick. Woo, bandana! We don't have any headgear, so we might as well equip that. Now we can climb better. That was such a cool way of doing that. Alright, and we're done. Is there any chests that I missed in here? I don't think so. I think that was the only chest. Normally shrines have like one extra... I don't know. It's not, it's not like that. I don't know. I also really liked Hollow Knight a lot. That was my game of the year last year. I know it didn't come out last year, but I played it last year. I thought that was phenomenal. But like, favorite, I feel like favorite game is something that you play all the time. And it's just, I feel like it's gotta be Rocket League then. Cause it's something I keep playing over and over. It's been like five years and I keep playing it over and over and over again. But it's not like, it's rewarding for skill base, but it's not rewarding for story. There's not like a story mode to Rocket League. Whereas like this game, you know, it's just a phenomenal story. You can go anywhere. There's side quests. Oh, this game is phenomenal at that. All right, so there's that. There's some Lizolfos in the water, which I'm going to ignore. And we're going to go zoom, zoom around them. I'm thinking today we'll probably make... There's another shrine nearby? Holy heck. Where are they hiding these things at? Oh, you know what? I'm so stupid. I was thinking I needed... I can probably just bomb these things, right? Oh, no. These aren't those type of things. Okay. Okay, so the shrine is this away. Okay. So now we got... Okay, we're going to sneak up on these guys. A throwing spear. That's pretty cool. Can't pick it up. A torch. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. Actually, I'm just gonna... Do I have any arrows? Oh, I lit it on fire! Oh! I think that works out pretty well. Now, there is one guy left, but I don't think he knows where I'm at. He, now, he is on fire. Okay. To take him out, I already have my big-ass sword, so I think that's probably the, the right move here. No charge? Oh, that sucks. I think that's... <laughs> For me, it's like, oh, if I want to do a thing and there's like a slight inconvenience now, it's like, well, now I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's like, oh, man, I would love to do my laundry, but like, uh, No battery. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I meant. I assumed you are talking about you have it on like your Switch or a controller to that battery. A boomerang? How's a boomerang work in this? I kind of want a boomerang. Um, yeah, we can drop that. Boomerang. You don't need that. Yeah, I, I included... So I normally do um, what I call multiplayer mayhem every once in a while to take a break from... I normally play single player games. Um, so when we do multiplayer mayhem, we'll normally do like some... Um, it's a Mario Kart, and I've included Rocket League in that now. So we'll, we'll play that every once in a while. I just hate... <laughs> I hate playing that online, because I'm... I get kind of molded at it. Um, I think I can just... No, no, I think we run and jump, and we can make it there. If not... Alright, new plan? Cryonis? Does that work? Sure does. Alright. Nice. And we're here. Your battery is toast too? So like, what are you playing on? Like what 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 like is this a is this like a switch or are you talking about like your controller battery is dead? I guess it's gotta be your if it's if it's batteries, it's like it's probably not a controller. Switch? Do you mean like you mean like 
you can't even charge it up anymore. Like the battery life is just zero. If it's not plugged in, it just doesn't work. Ah, that's clever. That you, you have to use Cryonis to get in here, and then Cryonis the way you solve the temple or the shrine. All right. Oh baby, it's it's Zelda golf time. All right. Oh. So we freeze like that. Yeah, I got it. I know what you're talking about. And then we shatter it. And then we need to hold it there. So we need to freeze it there. And then freeze it like there, right? Shatter that. Get it a little closer. Block it. Shatter it. Might need one more kind of freezy boy. We'll make this work. That'll work. Oh, it needs one more to kind of hop off it. Okay. Oh, no. Okay. That, I think, will work. It did not work. Gosh darn it. That will work, though, right? Look at that. Puzzle solving. That sucks. Can you? How do you replace a battery in a switch? Is that something you can do on your own, or you need to, like, take it somewhere for that? Or is it like an iPhone battery where you have to, like, have a billion small screwdrivers? Oh, that was a weird camera angle. Oh, a chest! Okay. Oh, I get it. Okay, we'll get that chest. Because I... The only time I experienced that is with, um... Well, actually... A lot of my laptops I had that problem with because I would basically only use them when they were plugged in. Oh, wait. How do I do this? Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you leave it plugged in too long, it just basically drains the battery. Hell yeah, we got some money. That's our first amount of money we've ever had in this game. It's 50 all at once. Let's go. In my laptop, I've always been able to replace the battery fairly easily. But a switch, I have no idea. Actually, I guess I can look. Ah, uh, you need to get a special screwdriver. It's got the Y screws on. There's no way. I was going to show you, but there's no way. So I know you can take these things apart. I did take apart the Joy-Cons to fix stick drift. But that is such a pain. <laughs> Honestly, for the... For the amount of effort I had to put into chain to fixing... To replacing the, uh... The Joy-Con sticks, I might even have... I might have just said, screw it, I'm buying new controllers. Because, jeez Louise, that it honestly took me three hours to replace, like, one controller. And it's just the most cumbersome thing ever. You have all these itty-bitty tiny pieces. And if you lose any of them, you're screwed. But it, it did make it pretty cool. While I was at it, I replaced the um, kind of thing around it. I made the D-pad look good, and I changed the color to be, like, see-through see green. Um, the only problem is this one turned out great, but I messed up on the other side, and I could not fix it. So I have one Joy-Con that works like this. But it's pretty cool. Ooh, is there warranty on the Switch? How long is the warranty? Hello, woman. Good evening. Still monsters. You're you're absolutely right. Elixirs. What the hell are elixirs? You mix bugs with monster parts. Okay. Oh, that's how you get. Okay, that's how you can get better speed and better strength. Okay, this one has better speed. Got it. I don't need to run away from enemies. All right. So this person. This is where you register horses at. Ah, like the place that you bought it from gave you a warranty. That's nice. Apples. Um, this is actually a good time to... S I think there's a... A mark. Someone who can buy and sell things, right? Oh, Beetle's here! Let's go! Hello. Beetle, I need you to, to sell... I'm gonna sell all of my amber and opal and all this garbage. And rupees. Shut up. And we're gonna buy a lot of, um... <laughs> arrows. Look what I've got for sale. These? Three of these? All of them. Also, what a good button. 630. 
Oh boy, we are rolling. This, all of them. 420? Blaze it. And don't we have Opal laying around here too? Am I blind? Opal, there it is. All of them. Hell yeah. We want to hang on to the ancient um, gears and screws for later. Um, but yeah, that was nice. Actually, I think we can just sell these too, to be honest. I don't think there's any reason to hold on to them. Technically, you make elixirs with them. But I, I'm really bad at crafting. So yeah, that's going to be gone. And I think maybe the chew jelly. I can't eat it, so we'll sell those. <laughs> wow. All right. Now that we've broken Beetle, I can buy like 20 arrows. <laughs> oh, we can buy all of them. Nice. That'll be handy. That's 10 arrows. And then these, I would like to buy all of them as well. Arrows are phenomenal in this game. Okay. Nope, I'm good. All right. Hello, kind sir. Welcome. We'll be staying here? Twat. Oh. What's a soft bed? Special bed. You wake up energized. I'll stay the night. Sure, just until morning. 20 rupees seems like kind of a, a lot of money, but I actually don't know what the economy is like out here, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'll be honest, like, um, when the new OLED switch came out, I was like, bro, that looks kind of sick. Like, I like the white Joy-Cons a lot, and I think the screen looks phenomenal. But I hate just, like, hold, like, it's not comfortable to hold for a long period of time. I can't, I feel like it's too, the, the buttons are too far apart. It feels awkward. Like, I literally only play my switch in docked mode. Like, unless I'm on a, tr pretty much, if I'm not on an airplane, I'm playing it in hand, or in, and docked mode. Um, I guess there's no real reason. Okay. Let's talk to these guys. You got a scoop on Misko's treasure. Ooh. There's a treasure nearby. Treasure of the Great Bandit Misko. Let's see if I remember this. I remember these guys. I... I think I know where the treasure is. Oh, is it worth it? Do I just... I think it's over here, to be 100% honest with you. I think there's like a cavern up here that we want to go to. Or I think I can pay for... Oh, they're sleeping? No, no, no. Okay, Misko's treasure. Just tell him. Yep. That's good. Okay. Tell me where it's at. Incredible riches? Not for free, though. I gotta pay you for it? A hundred rupees. You know what? Deal. I want a side quest. I want to do a thing. Way to go! The little twin steps over the little river. The cave rests above the river's source. You got an attachment for yours? Makes it so you have little grips like a controller. Oh, like it, um... Kind of like this, how it like juts out. I, is it like a case you kind of put your whole handheld switch into? That'd be pretty clever. That's probably much more ergonomic, ergonomic than the standard one. Okay, so they said up a little river at the mouth of the little river. Hmm. Oh, it's also a ca Oh, it's all in one. That's nice. Is this, this is it. That's definitely their treasure. Okay. Hickory Woods. All right, so let's go there. So we get a thousand rupee treasure. I can give you directions. I don't need directions. I know where I'm going. But I will get this bundle of wood though, since they're just sitting around. Oh, a torch? Sure. That might be handy. Lighting things on fire is always handy. All right. So we are going generally this way. That's nice. I, I I get it. Again, like, I just don't have the need. Like, I'm just never playing. Oh, shoot. Jelly boys? All right. No, no, no. Don't mess with me. Do you... 
You're dead. I wasn't gonna let you guys live. Now you gotta live. Alright, or you gotta die. Alright, I'm gonna try to get a horse. Alright, so I believe that we just sneak up behind him. Yeah, 20 bucks is nothing compared to a $60 game. We'll get the blue one. Yeehaw! Soothe the hell out of him. Don't buck me off. It's okay. Everything's fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. No, it's okay. It's okay. Good horsey. I think you just spam soothe, right? Soothe him. There's a Korok seed. I need this thing to love me right quick, though. Do you love me yet? Uh, it sounds unhappy. Pat the hell out of it. You like that, bud? You like that, boy? Yeah, you like that, don't you? Bro, am I just gripping its hair? No wonder he's pissed. That would hurt so bad. I guess... I guess he's cool. How do you sprint? Yeah? Alright, got it. That's the exact source I got stuck in river and spent so long trying to get him out. Oh no. Oh no. How the... Oh no. These are fast. Come on. I got 20 arrows. I just paid a million dollars. Okay, there's one. There's two. There's three. Nice. Without a... S oh, you need a saddle on this. Alright, so I think that's a smart... It's a good point you make there. Let's go... Um, let's go register our horse. So if he does get stuck in a river, we can just come back to... Uh, to this... To one of the campground things. And... We won't worry about it. Also, we get to Nate... God... It's weird because sprinting with Link is B, but sprinting with a horse is tapping A. Oh, yeah. Okay. I believe it's, like, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Yes, yeah, so we can go register a horse. It's not the fastest horse, but it is a horse. And I like horses. I'm not, like, obsessed with horses, but they seem... They have their, they have their uses. All right. Cool. Horses here. Can I register him now? Hey. You. Hi. Hmm. Haven't seen your face before. I do not know about the stable uh. system. You can board your horse companions with them, summon them as you please. Nice. That's that's what I wanted. So that way, if my horse gets stuck in that river, I can just get him back from here. You can have up to five horses. I know how. I've already done it. Hey. Okay. I would like to register a horse, please. Gotcha. Oh. New horse! Oh, it's gentle. Yeah, this one. Not a problem. How much is the fee? You get a saddle and a bridle for your horse. 20 rupees? That seems fine. I don't... I feel like I have a lot of rupees right now. Horse's name is Pizza. No way! Why can I use my keyboard? Oh, that's such a nice... Oh my... God, that's such a nice feature. All right. If you get separate horse, you can whistle. Nice. Horse isn't magic. It only it can only go so far. It's a good point he makes there, because, like, a lot of things in this world are magic. There we are. Pizza, let's go. All right, now we can go this way. Make it blue so I can see it. Blue. Blue. <coughs> blue. Pretty much a U-turn. Okay. I don't see it, but we will. We'll find it. Let's go. All right. Can horse horses ford through rivers? Oh, God. An Octazooka. It's okay. It's shh. You're with friends here. Okay, good. You didn't run to a wall. Very impressive. Good job. Okay. 
Oh, it's in my mini map. I'm so stupid. All right. Oh, it doesn't like when I make it run faster than it has the ability to run. That makes sense. Shh. Some games are overcomplicated. Like, a lot of my friends like playing Destiny. And, like, the core mechanic of shooting things, that's pretty straightforward. Oh, we can't go through water. That's fine. I can. Um, but, like, some of the other stuff in there is kind of just insane. Like, how you have to, like, pair weapons together. Okay, let's see if I can do this right. And, like, the whole, like, upgrade system gets... There's, like, trees of upgrade systems. It's just overly complicated for, I feel like, no reason. Anyways, we can get across this, right? There's apparently a shrine over here. Alright, I don't want to use any more stamina, because I probably have to climb out of here, right? Yep, now we're good. Okay. Um, sure, we can climb this. Yeah, why not? Okay. Yoink. Yoink, make it? Okay, good. Alright, so apparently there's a shrine this way. And it's pretty close by. We don't have a horse anymore, but we don't need the horse where we're going. Horses can't go in shrines. Yeah, sometimes simple games are just way better. Like, you don't need to put, like, 8 billion hours into it. Okay, is that bear gonna heal me? No, he's good bear. He's friendly bear. He's like Smokey the bear. Only you can prevent forest fires. I'm gonna... Okay. I'm thinking... Okay, I got this. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Cryonis the water. Okay. Then, we're gonna go... Climb this. Like a good boy. And then, we're gonna switch to a bomb. And we're gonna go yeet. And then, we're gonna go boom. Boom. And there's a shrine! Hell yeah! Oh. Dude, the whole world is a puzzle. It's just like Mario Odyssey. It's not like individual things. Like, everything's a puzzle. It's not like you have to go to a specific dungeon anymore. whole world is a puzzle. Alright, so let's see what this shrine has to offer. Oh, frick. Do I need motion controls for this? This feature can only be used with the Wii U gamepad. <laughs> well, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we are not getting that shrine. So, sorry. <laughs> a lot of games think it's so you have to buy it to customize basic stuff instead of rewards. Okay, so that, yeah, there's two different types of games that are complicated. One are like the, um, like the microtransaction type games where they're like, hey, Instead of playing this game and getting better at it and getting rewards for it, you can just pay us real money to get the things you want. Other games, they do have real-world kind of reward systems, but they're just kind of unnecessarily complicated to get. Like, it just takes forever to, to figure out how to get stuff. Oh, it's up there. Oh! Oh! It's so like other games, like, you have a skill tree that you can get through... Just playing the game, but... Who is shooting at me? Is that the bear? Oh, it's an Octazooka. Okay. That's, I know that's not his name, but, you know, it's an Octopus Bazooka. Octazooka makes sense to me. Um, Interesting. Okay, if I wanted to get... Yeah, I think I can probably make this happen. Let's see here. Mm-hmm... Yeah, so I'm gonna go there, climb up there, then walk across here and get to the treasure that way. I think is my game plan. Because I want it. Apparently, if you play Super Mario Run on mobile, half is blocked by a paywall. Is it? So is it like you have a certain number of lives, and if you want more lives, you have to like watch ads or pay money or use Mario coins or something stupid? God, jellies. At least you're worth five rupees a piece. They're just money to me. Yeah, I can't. I can't stand that. Actually, um, <laughs> I was watching a toaster play. What was it? That vegan game. Even that was behind a paywall. Like they're like, hey, if you want more lives, watch some ads. Uh, that was just an insane. Like that game is like a just geometry dash. 
Like, don't put behind a paywall. That's insane. Give the man some lives. I don't watch a 30-second ad. That's hot garbage. It's bad game design. I'd rather pay a dollar for the game with no ads than have to get it for free and watch a bunch of ads. Okay. I'm looking at this now, and it's a lot taller than I initially anticipated. I think we can do it, though. I'm thinking otherwise now. Okay. Oh, hot sweet Jesus. There's no story mode, and you basically have to pay 20 bucks for the... Oh my god, dude. Can you imagine? It's 20 bucks for a Mario game on your phone that just runs. I don't think I'm going to make it up there. That's so stupid. Okay, there is actually a way I could do this, but I... Wow, what a snipe by him. Um, We'll try the other side and see if we get up there. Yeah, that's, I, I don't like paywalls. I mean, hot take. I don't like paywalls in games. I don't like microtransactions in games. Oh. <laughs> but I am very terrified that's where gaming is going. Because free-to-play and then microtransactions just make so much money that it's hard to not do it. So I'm glad, like, other companies are going a different route. Or just sending out a half-finished game and then providing DLC later to basically finish it. That feels stupid, too. The other, the other mode is basically just boring. You just kind of just runs. You click. It's basically just jumping, I assume. Yeah, I don't like that, either. Yeah, I'm a little scared. Yeah, if, if you want to play a 2D Mario game, just get Mario Maker 2. It's phenomenal. All the... It's literally endless content. I, I freaking love Mario, um... Mario Maker. You literally never run out of things to do. Okay, I actually want more stamina. I want this treasure. So, getting up here seems really complicated. It might be better to go this way. That's what I have? Yeah, if you have Mario Maker, screw every other, like, 2D Mario game. You have the... You have everything. That's actually, like, one of my... Is that my horse? Hey, pizza. That's one of my things I do when I'm like on Discord, just hanging out, and we don't we're not actually like playing a game or anything. I'll just open up uh, Mario Maker and hop on like easy or normal course and just grind through them. Just has something to do. I'm <laughs> I actually did that enough on um, Endless Easy to be like top thirty thousand in the world, just because I think I have like a couple hundred levels without dying. <laughs> it's it's just so it's just like a brainless thing you do now it's just such a fun thing to do and you see people do a lot of crazy unique stuff i don't think there's any way i get up there what the hell maybe i just climb maybe i'm overthinking it show yourself Idiot. Okay. What do you drop? Ooh, an octo balloon. Okay. So this was my other method of getting up there, was there was a raft, and if you attach those things to a raft, it floats. So you actually can use that to get really high up in the air. If you have enough of those, you keep spamming them. It just goes zoop. Hopefully I don't have to do that, but it's an option. And we can actually buy those from Beetle too, so we don't actually have to find a bunch of octazookas. I don't know, man. It looks really tall. It looks very tall. Oh, no! It's it's water! We can climb up using our Cryonis, I think. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. There also might be enough areas to, uh, to stand on. Also, this is definitely a Korok Leaf, right? Yeah. Korok Seed. Whatever. Bye-bye! Sorry. Alright. I'm gonna try just straight climbing. And if that doesn't work, we'll leave. Yeah, a lot of the popular ones are just real basic stuff. It's just really nice to move through them. And then every once in a while, I like a... Some... I like difficult courses that are... I like the speedrun courses a lot. 
where the actual general stage is really easy, but if you want to go fast, you can make it really difficult on yourself. So you really can do anything you want. Oh. Wow, I really overcomplicated this. Oh. Well, hell yeah! Alright, we paid 100 rupees for this. Okay, a sapphire is worth over 100, so we've already made our money back. <laughs> Again, everything else is just free money. Yeah, this is a good trade deal. Excellent trade deal. Best trade deal. Oh, <gasps> and these are great to eat! Oh my god, those truffles are phenomenal. Do I want that spear? Sure. Can't pick it up. Um, let's see here. Travel spears, worse eat. Oh, okay. Oh, another thing. Okay, there's just a ton of stuff up here. Luminous stone. More sapphires. Dude, I thought something that was really unique. I liked the uh, the link levels. Like, I thought that would just not work in Mario, but that was such a cute idea to implement. Where you play as, uh, like, original 2D Link through the courses, and you... A flame blade? Hell... Yeah, we got a fu- Well, obviously, we're gonna- Yeah, give me the flame blade. A Mario Kart game? That's sick. Okay, we don't need this yet. We'll save that for good things. A Mario Kart game in Mario Maker sounds phenomenal. Need <laughs> Once Nintendo <laughs> just buys Sega, we can get a Sonic game in there. That'd be sick. Sonic and Mario Maker. The crossover everyone's been asking for that already exists is sorry Sonic and Mario play at the Olympic Games, but this one would be better. Alright, so we did that. Let's see here. Where's Kakariko? Wasn't there a dot on my map? Oh, let's switch it to the uh, Kakariko village. How far away is that? Can I do that today? Or do we do that later? Where's that? Oh, we can go do that now. Okay. So we'll go talk to Impa. And we'll probably end it there. Get to Kakariko. Let me get my horse. That'll probably make this a little easier. This is a big skelly. I don't think he wakes up during the day. No, he does not. Well, that's something. It just finished up. Oh my god. When was the last time you played your Switch? Updates, updates, updates. Nice. Um, so... I tried to bring, um, I brought my Switch to work to play Switch Sports with some of my, um, my co-workers. And I was so excited to do that, but I, I only have two Joy-Cons. I only brought two Joy-Cons. So I was like, okay, can you guys bring your other Joy-Cons? You don't bring your whole Switch and dock, just, just the Joy-Cons. And, um, we were trying to play, and <laughs> I didn't realize there was a controller update. Like, they updated some of the gyro stuff. Oh. Kill it. Kill it. Oh my god. Horse, come back. I need you. So anyways, we had to sit there for like 20 minutes and just wait for um, <laughs> controllers to update for an ungodly amount of time. And it's like, bro, I need to go. We need to get this done. We gotta get back to work. I didn't like that. Alright. Let's go. Let's zoom. Kakariko time. You been playing the Lego Skywalker Sog game? Is that every single Lego Star Wars all in one game? Because I've never played any of them. I actually have um, a few of them on Epic Games because they were given away for free. I just never ended up playing any of them. But I like the overall Lego idea, though. There was just movies that are just more fun. Also, they have no um, they have no real text. So it's funny how they have to, like, use... They also have to mime out the out actions. So I think for the, the the scene that I'm familiar with is the Darth Vader, I, like, Luke, I am your father scene. But you don't have voice lines. So they did instead was the, um, <laughs> Darth Vader shows a picture of him and Padme, like, essentially, like, hooking up. And they're like, it's like, that. that's the way he said, like, I'm your father, which is really unique. It's all the episodes of movies you have to complete missions. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a, it sounds like a huge game for, what, 60 bucks? It's gotta be, it's a, that's a super solid deal. I'm gonna have to get into that. There's a story mode and a free mode. So I assume the free mode just lets you choose any mission you want and then story it to play through all of them chronologically. 
Alright, now if I remember correctly, I don't know why. Certain things in this game I remember and other things I don't. Like this guy right here. This guy's actually a ninja in disguise, if I'm remembering correctly. But he gives me a sick sword. Oh, wait. Can I sell this stuff? Wait a second. Wait a second. Hell yeah. And there's a little side quest? Sick. As long as I'm selling, you're buying. Okay. Um, other things. All of these. Luminous stone. Ooh, actually, no. Luminous stone can be used for crafting clothing later. The opal and the amber are worth pretty much nothing, I believe. So we'll save the luminous stone because they're kind of rare, if I'm correct. And we'll sell the other rocks. Thanks. I'll take a look. What are you selling? Do you have any... No, I don't want any of that. Maybe this isn't the right guy. Is he over here? I could have sworn he was right at the end of this bridge. Maybe he's maybe here. He's here at the end after we leave Kakariko or something. Okay, so now we do a little side quest to get some maracas, if I'm not mistaken. Mystery. There she is. And we get one of the best songs in the entire game. The fun little dance she makes when I give her Korok seeds. This is what I've been getting the Korok seeds for. Shashaka! Niu! You can see me? I can see you! Shalashaza! It's been a hundred years since anyone was able to see me. I'm Hestu. I need your help. Monster sell your maracas? No problem. I can fix that. Let's go get those maracas back. You got it. Okay. One little thing I hate is the new party game is when you fail throwing the bowling ball, the people... Yes! Oh my god, I was bringing that up when I was playing it. Um, one, in the new Wii Sport or the Nintendo Switch Sports, um, one thing, you have you don't let go of the ZR button, so it's just kind of weird. You just kinda, I don't even know why you're holding it down at all. And second, like when you drop the ball, I really liked the... Whoa! And I can't believe they got rid of that. Oh, wait. They're all asleep? Okay, we can do something crazy here. Ooh. Nope. Just smack him over there. Smack him over there! Hit him! There. Okay, there's two. Alright. And here comes three. Easiest boss I ever faced. <laughs> I love the Korok Lee. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Dude, for a game that's just pure nostalgia... So they made Switch Sports essentially as nostalgia bait. Which, by the way, it's a great time to be around, like, 20 years old-ish. Because essentially... I guess maracas. Essentially what happens is now you have the money to spend. Companies will make nostalgia games and nostalgia things to have you spend that money. Because you have to make you feel like a kid again. And so essentially they made Switch Sports as nostalgia bait for everyone who had such a good time in like 2006 with the Switch, with the Wii. And I feel like if you're doing it for nostalgia, then do all the nostalgia things. Like the bowling ball should make everyone go to woo. Like why is that not a thing? Also, why are there so many net sports? Why, why are there, out of the six games you gave me, why are three of them hit ball over net? That being said, I really like them. But, like, give me some variety. And why is golf, like, DLC in August? I want golf now. <laughs> I got a lot of complaints about Switch Sports. Also, my biggest complaint is why is everyone better than me online? I thought it was supposed to be a bunch of children that I could just whip their ass at. But they're, they're like, actually hard. <laughs> I didn't like that. Okay. Can I trade Korok Seeds for inventory space? Yes, please. Alright. We don't want to upgrade melee weapons. Alright, how is that? One for one? Like I don't I don't like to like negatively review games a lot, because like a lot like a lot of them. But for the switch the switch sports, I think there was definitely some things I could have done that were really easy. Like that one. And I just I feel like they should have. Yeah, weapon stash. Ooh, two Korok seeds. Oh, no. Good thing I got a lot. I 
Dude, the, the Switch layout, like, oh my god. Yeah, exactly. No custom backgrounds, and especially in a game where you can take screenshots of anything. Like, it's designed around taking endless amounts of screenshots and videos, which I love, by the way. It's phenomenal. They included that in there and made it really easy. But, like, let me use those photos as my background. Also, let me make better folders. Let me put games into, like, folders. It's just, they definitely can improve the UI so much. And I don't know, like, they just don't care to do it. Oh, Korok's seeds? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, my, can I not upgrade my stuff anymore? Uh, okay. He wants me to gather more seeds. Apparently I don't have enough. Okay. Yeah, they definitely can improve that whole UI interface. I mean, Xbox changed theirs, like, once a year. And, like, some of them are good, some of them are bad. But, like, at least they tried new things. They're trying to innovate. I don't know if Nintendo's just waiting on, like, the Switch 2 or whatever. I don't know. But, like, you should hydrate. I'll take it. You don't need to redeem that. That seems fair. G good looking out, Tom. I appreciate it. God, that's good water. <clears throat> All right. Is this the guy that's a ninja? Like bombs? Yeah. Like this? <laughs> Look, if someone specifically says don't light a bomb next to me, I'm gonna do it. That's, that's default. That's three-year-old brain cactus right there. Just doing my job. I appreciate it. Oh, that's a Korok seed. So <laughs> I I don't know why I got a, a flashback to that um Oh yeah we'll dip. There's that meme, it's like I'm doing my part. It's like the, the future military girl doing like that. She's got a big old rifle in her hand, she's like, I'm doing my part. <laughs> Alright, so I think what we'll do is that a quark seed? I don't know, it's a random looking rock. Nope, just a frog underneath there. Okay. So I think we'll do, we'll talk to Impa, and we'll do the shrine. Maybe we'll just talk to Impa. And that'll be a good kind of stopping point. For today. But we will be playing lots more of this game. Like, a lot more. Because I'm having a great time, and I can't believe how fast time flies by in this game. Also, 60 frames is too good. I can't stop looking at it. It looks so good. Do I have an apple on me? I do. Korok seed, please. I don't, again, I have no idea why, like, certain things I remember and certain things I had no idea what exists. Anyways, like, that thing just, I was like, oh, Korok seed goes there. Yeah, no, I'm Link. You might have heard of me. Ancient hero of Hyrule, maybe? Maybe you should let me in. Yeah, weird old men guards. I have business with your chieftain. Okay. And this is what? Pyra? Is that her name? Paya. Like papaya. Oh, yeah, we will definitely do the, um... I remember seeing a meme speed around this. It's called late percent. Apparently, if you do a certain amount of tasks, you can spend the night with Paya. So we'll be doing that for sure. Because, you know, Link's a Chad. And, you know, the Switch, <laughs> the Switch shirt stays on during spending the night with Paya. You know it does. So, yeah, we're going to get our flirting in a little bit. It's important. It's part of the, <laughs> it's part of the seduction cycle. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Anyways, my grandmother's been waiting inside. Please, hurry. Since I was little, she's what, been sitting in here just waiting for me for a hundred years? It's Impa! We love Impa! She's a lot older than the last time I saw her. What is her voice actor? Why does she sound so young? 
It sure has. Older now, but you remember me, don't you? No shot, I remember her. Move a little glowing ball next to her? Okay, I will do that. Once I finish talking to her, her grandma. What's the matter? You're looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. They lack familiarity. I am the courageous one, Impa. <laughs> In case you don't remember, I'm kind of a badass. You know Impa, right? Now she's pissed. Oh, I, you lost your memory. You never done it? Oh, we'll do with it. Don't you worry. It matters not. I don't care if you remember me. Dearest Link, please come closer. A hundred years ago. Oh my god, we gotta watch more cutscenes. Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber, then she alone went to face Ganon. Uh, she had some words to say. You've been waiting a hundred years to deliver the message. However, those words, um, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. Yeah, I'm already doing that. When you feel you're ready to receive the prince's message, return to me. Okay. What ball? What glowing ball are you talking about? Is it a bomb? I'm not putting a... <laughs> it's not the bomb. I'm not putting a bomb next to my Paya. You know? She doesn't deserve that. The random lady on the on the path did deserve to get blown up. But not Paya. No sirree, Bob. Hmm. Glowing ball. Alright. Oh, okay, inside. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, this one. Okay. The Sheikah heirloom has been guarded by our tribe for generations. Don't touch it. Okay, the old lady's gotta go to sleep eventually, right? Alright, so we, have, we probably need to make a little bit more story progression. Alright, let's go here. Um... <clears throat> the words that Impa has for me. I am ready to hear it. Let's watch a cutscene. Not a memory to your name, yet you are intent as ever to charge forward and die for your <laughs> determination. You've not changed a bit. A hero as always. That's a me. A link -a -poo. I will recount what has happened. Thank you. I love a good recount of what's happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon. Okay. A primal evil that has endured over the ages. Yeah, isn't it kind of... Isn't it the whole weird thing is, like, there's... In every generation, there's a new, like, Princess Zelda, and there's a new Link, and there's, like, a new Ganon. And so, like, it's really just a never-ending battle of good and evil. Like, every time Link and Zelda will defeat Ganon, and then the world is okay for, like, one generation. And then the next generation happens, and there's a new Ganon and a new Link and a new Zelda. It's got to keep doing it over and over and over. It's kind of messed up. Yeah, this, okay. So it's been going on for 10,000 years. This endless cycle of good triumphing over evil, evil then ruining the world, then good triumphing over evil again and again. All right. So we're in ancient Hyrule. This is the Sheikah era. Okay. I think this is Skyward Sword. Because that's when the Sheikah people kind of roamed freely. And the Sheikah people were the ones that made all the towers. Okay. So we're kind of that era of realm. And they made a bunch of technological advancements, basic tanks and stuff, to, uh, to take it down. The Link's Awakening game isn't for you. I did play through it. It definitely is weird as heck going back. So that game was basically... I think it was on the NES when it came out. And like that era of games is just hard. They give you very... It's designed to be played with like a game manual. Like you're... It's not... The understanding of the game is not built into the game like games today. So... Yeah, it looks cute as a button now, and I did play through it, but, like, nothing is intuitive. Like, the way you did quests in that, they didn't change any of that. So all of it was very obscure, and you had to look up game guides. That I had to look up guides to figure it out and whatnot. But, like, and the, just the, it's challenging. Like, just facing the bosses and the demons are hard. Like, it's really easy to die in there. It's definitely a different Zelda game. I'm a big fan of the, the 3D Zelda games. Huge fan 
Um, basically, Ocarina of Time through this game, I played all of them now. I played Majora's Mask earlier to complete the the full cycle, and they're all awesome. The 2D Zelda games, I'm not as big a fan of. So like Minish Cap, um, you know, Link's Awakening, t Link Between Times, Link Between Worlds. They made a bunch of them. And I, uh, just the three Zelda games are so much better, in my opinion. I just like moving around the world a lot more. That being said, I have, I'm trying to convince my friends to play Four Swords, because you can, I found a way to do it um, by emulation to play online together and play through Four Swords, because it's a really unique game. Um, but no one will take me up on my offer. Because, like, the traditional game, you can play it with one person. You control four, four links. But it's way more fun to have four individually controlled links that move around. It's great. Anyways, apparently 100 years ago they built more things. Or they tried to resurrect the things from 10,000 years ago. Alright, what did the princess have to say? Free the four divine beasts is what she said. Alright. Alright, apparently the four divine beasts, if you don't know, are controlled by evil Ganon Blight Juice. Daruk of the Gorons. Rivali of the Rito, Mifa of the Zora, and Urbosa of the Gerudo. Great areas. Phenomenal wall dungeons do those. I love the Divine Beasts. They're all awesome. They're not as unique. The, um, the actual beasts themselves aren't as unique as some of the dungeons in other Zelda games, but it's made up for entirely by the fact the entire world is ex explorable, and there's basically dungeons everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go find all the different races. Oh, you've been playing Ollie Ollie World? Bro, that's on my wish list. I'm looking to play it. It looks fun as heck. Um, it's basically because I, I like it because it's basically a 2D platformer with cool skate tricks in there. It just looks sick. I'm waiting for it to go on like Hella Sale for like Steam Summer Sale or something to play it. That looks like so much fun. Also, just the art style just looks phenomenal. It just looks, it's fun to play around in. I'll be honest, I buy a lot of games because they look pretty. Because if I'm going to play a game for a number of hours, I want to have a fun, you know, cinematic experience. I want it to look pretty the whole time. Yeah, how is all y'all world? You got a review for me? Ooh, we seeked out Impa. All right, wait, let me grab this big ball now. Still no? Shoot. All right. All right, you going for dinner? I am. That's a great time because I am wrapping up as well. I also need to eat dinner, believe it or not. Where do I save in this? Oh, it's like this. Okay. So cool. So that's where we're going to stop for today. And we will pick this up on Thursday. We'll keep playing through it. Get a little bit farther in the game. Peace, Tom. Have a good dinner. And we'll go from there. Yeah. All righty. Let's see. Anyone know who is streaming? I guess I should check that. Let's see here. Let's see if there's anyone I want to raid. Is anyone else playing the game? Twitch. Nay. Eh. Okay. Cool. Alright, then I'm not going to worry too much about it. We will just head out. Alright, so cool. Bye, see you Thursday.